Yo, what's up guys, how are you guys doing today? Uh, you know what's funny guys, like immediately upon entering the mountaintops, we are already stuck with two goddamn very hard bosses. What's up Moz, what's up Popcorn, what's up, hello. What's up, uh, insert agent name here, I saw you actually over there, Hallway, man. Hallway Gaming, what's up. Lord, I saw you also in the chat, what's up, how are you doing, how are you guys doing today? Hopefully everybody's doing fine. Mm. Today, I don't have too much time, so let's get this shit immediately started. Usually I would go a longer intro, but today we have to actually go, 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 because I have to pee in somewhere in like 3 hours. So the more things we kill today, the better. Though I hope we are going to be able to finish up the build today. As once we finish the mountaintops, we are going over to Kaled, and in Kaled are the last ingredients that are necessary uh, to finally complete the build to the end. What's up, Edman? Trying to be Vir Virgil in DMC5. Oh, I remember the Virgil fight in DMC5, it was actually super, super fun to do. Alright, there are two bosses in this place. Knight's Cavalry and the goddamn... Oh, by the way, I also farmed uh, the Fashion. That is the only thing that I did after last stream. So we now have uh, the Gravekeeper Cloak, the Fire Prelate Gauntlets, and the Fire Prelate Leggings. And I think this Fashion suits Lord Two Shanks actually perfectly. And it also gives us a bit of poise, which is actually really, really nice. Alright, let's go for the Knight's Cavalry, right? By thought by German because I couldn't actually fit in the uh, bosses killed, but I think I'm just gonna be like later on going for killed and then put the numbers in. Thought is just a much much of a shorter version to say dead. How did that miss? Okay, we are off to a good start. We are very, we are very much off to a very good very good start. Who 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 thought putting the knife? Yeah, we are definitely off to a good start. Why are the Knight's Cavalry my worst enemies in this game? Okay, we do we do way too good damage here right now. Like, we are not even, like, halfway done with the build and we are already doing some serious damage up. Okay, that, that's never gonna hit. Dropping attacks, it seems. Like, Kaled is the place where we actually finish up the build to a s acceptable amount. Because we need Cragblade. We need double Cragblade to actually do good things with daggers. Without de without double Cragblade, uh, daggers are really subpar in every aspect of the game. Also the Talisman. I hate this boss. I, I, I figured out that I literally cannot hit these guys. Like, I just need to wait for specific attacks and then try to do any sort of punch on them. But thankfully, the Black Knight exists. Black Knight is always a good way to deal with them. Uh, also, he gets stuck a lot of trees. Yeah, the, the, the build here suffers only from very, very mobile bosses. Like every stationary boss died, like, in seconds. But thankfully, I do know how to play the game at the end of the day. And jumping attacks are pretty broken. I played Dark Souls 1 the other day, and I seriously was trying to, like, jump with that game for, like, what the hell are you doing? Where did the... What in the fuck is Knight... Knight's Cavalry, get back over here. Get down. And stay down. The one in Dragon Barrel is way better. You mean the Knight's Cavalry? Yeah, he just jumps off. <laughs> one down, okay. One boss down. 69 plus 20 boys. What did he even give you? He used your Phantom Slash, interesting. Uh, did I open the marker? Uh, 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 Knight's Cavalry and the next very hard boss is the black. How is the music, guys? Is the music too loud? I feel like it could be a bit loud here. Let me just lower the music sound a bit. Today we are, today we are listening to 10 hours of Witcher music. Because, uh... We listened to a bunch of Skyrim music the past, like, couple of streams, so we're just gonna uh, listen to some Witcher music this time around. I think that's a good idea. Also, upgrade materials in this place. Also a good idea. Music's great. Yeah, like... every For some reason, RP, like medieval fantasy RPG said like really good music. Who would have thought? How old are you, brother? I am 25. I have to I have to double check that with my girlfriend. She keeps the track on my age. I have no idea how old I am, actually. I stopped counting after 22. Or, or rather, I stopped caring after 22. Up, plus seven. We were casually waiting for the LT. Attack on Titan. 
Attack on Titan soundtrack would definitely get me banned, so that we're not gonna do. That's highly copyrighted, man. Practice makes perfect? Definitely. Mm. Practice makes perfect, especially when it comes to maths. Like if you want to just solve problems quickly. Or efficiently. I think everybody stops caring. I hope everybody stops caring, and then. I don't think it's actually helped you to care about your age that much. From Soft OSTs as the background, also a good idea, Ivo. I'll definitely include that at some point. I was thinking about including that. How's everybody's day? Pretty good, my man. Did I work out before the stream? Did I work out yesterday? Finally, finally went back to uh, Jiu Jitsu practice. So I'm absolutely beaten up today. Like, uh, let me explain to how Jiu Jitsu practice works at my gym. Like, it's insane. Like, outside it's like 30 something degrees Celsius. Inside of the gym, there is no air conditioning. So it's like 38 when the practice starts, and it becomes like 40 degrees when we actually start practicing because of... Gee, this guy's on health. My god. It's gonna be a problem, boys. This is going to be an issue. These guys are not easy bosses. Oh, he takes no damage. Oh, he's risen to hole, isn't he? Oh, no, 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 no. What is that attack? He's resistant to hole, isn't he? Okay. Black knife time, boys. Black knife time. We still don't have the fire infusion. We need to go black knife now. Oh, this guy's gonna be the bane of my existence. What? How do you even dodge that? How did Distortion ever beat these guys on new game plus 50? I'm sincerely amazed by that accomplishment. Uh, ground slam attacks. Black knife. Black knife is the like, main solution right now for... Or like if I don't have there has to be a way to cheat this guy. Oh my god, this guy's insane. <laughs> Get very close and dodge. This guy's going to be an issue. Oh my god. Uh KK, what's up? Oh everybody like the stream please, that helps out a ton. Do you think I should install the Virgil chair mode for that fight? What the hell is the Virgil chair mode? You should make a fist weapon only run. Uh, we are doing fist weapons only for my no hit run or no damage run practice. Basically, the most optimal route for a no damage run is a fist only run or fist weapon only run. Which is kind of funny in this game. There is no secret today in set engine in here. I turned that off. Okay, we only have one rune arc, which is actually a bit of an issue. Let me just go back to round table 4 real quick. That guy has to be resistant. How much resistance does the Black Knife Kindred have in, uh, in the Forbidden Lands, guys? No, Forbidden Lands is actually not technically part of the mountaintops. But I can... I mean, it's my rules at the end of the day, but... I think four, there's no way he has 40 resistance. He's way too powerful. How's the cat? Didn't you see the last video, uh, KK, that I uploaded? I, I have no cat anymore. 60 to holy. That makes perfect sense. That makes absolute sense, actually. Uh, let me just buy these... Uh, me and my girlfriend have actually been talking about that, uh, like, cat issue. Uh, we've decided that we're gonna try a bunch of different cats. Like, we're gonna find people who just need, like, temporary shelter. And then we're just gonna try to find a cat that doesn't actually give me any allergies. Okay, plus eight. Redneck, what's up? But sh she was so cute. Yeah, she was cute, but I was literally dying when she was in the house. Like, I, I, I had a pretty severe asthma attack because of her. So I just, I... Wait, do I have so many somber smithing stones? That's insane. Okay. Uh, the other thing that I need to get is a... Okay, we're gonna take care of the Black Knight Kindred in, like, the easiest way that I can think of. Spam Black Knife attacks, guys. I think that's going to be the easiest way. Yeah, unfortunately, I was not dying of cuteness. Yeah, I wish I was dying of cuteness. I'm also sad, too. Trust me. Yeah, I'm gonna tr like the the problem is there is one there is one very good way to take care of allergies when it comes to cats, uh, and it's uh, allergy immunotherapy. But it's really hard to find in Croatia, because Croatia is a backwards country. Uh, Le Blade of Death from the ledge above him. I'm tried. I'll give everything a shot. There has to be a way to cheese him. 
He he seems like a very very cheesable. Oh yeah, we can actually do that. You're actually quite right, Nicola. He's definitely gonna be cheesable here. So, will we have enough flasks? That is the question for the goddamn philosophers. Hop! From software, please stop putting so many ledges into your games. I'm, I'm finding way too many ways to cheese enemies. This is not good for your PR. Can this hit? It cannot. I need to get him lower. <laughs> He's being confused, I think. Uh, can this hit? He's, avo he's refusing to be cheesed, guys. And now I'm gonna die. <laughs> Alright. Don't die to the goddamn Blade, blade Kindred. Bro, I, I, for some reason, these guys are the hardest enemies for me to fight. They are really confusing to fight. Back off. How do you... He has so much forward momentum with his attacks. Insane. Can I now cheese I also have one question. When does this guy stop attacking? Like, does he ever stop attacking? Do you, my boy, ever stop attacking? We're gonna find a way to cheese you if it's the last thing I'll do. There's no way I'm fighting you up front. You're way too dangerous. Wait. He's like... Okay. He's still. And he's going forward. Now. Cheese. Cheese incoming. He stops attacking when you kill him. Well, thank you very much for that great advice. I didn't know that. <laughs> but he stops attacking when I kill him. Uh, why is Torrent not working? Torrent has abandoned me. Can't blame him. I would abandon myself if I could. Uh, Black Blade. Be good to me. Are we in cheese territory, Black Blade? This is definitely cheese territory. I just need to figure out a good way to do it, though. He's definitely very cheesable, guys. Yep. Cheesable indeed. Pop. Yeah. This is gonna be very, very easy, guys. Hopefully. Can that hit... Bro, th this guy doesn't give me anything in the world. Run! Uh, we definitely don't have enough damage. We're gonna have to get some more flasks, but this is gonna work out. Falling Star Beasts are very bad bosses. I don't know. Like, Falling Star Beasts are not bad. They're just very, very difficult to fight. Bad bosses definitely deserve a different kind of treatment, though. Uh, do I actually have... I don't. I have this, though. Which we can use, technically. Flasks. Let's go five. Let's go actually six. GG, boys. The Cheese Lord will find a way. Trust me, guys. FSB is fun to fight. What is FSB? What's the acronym FSB? Never heard that. Have anybody use that? You mean the Falling Star? No, they're not. The hitboxes are fine. The fuck? Like, people will complain that this is a bad hitbox, but it's not. Ah, Falling Star Beast, you mean. They're very hard to fight. Their, hit their hitboxes are not messed up. They're just very, very difficult to dodge. Okay, this works. He's gonna shout. We dodge the shout. From when it comes to hitboxes, I haven't found any like weird hit hitboxes in this game. There are weird hitboxes in other Souls games that I can that I can give you though. But in this game, hitboxes are pretty tight. Some attacks are like ridiculously hard to dodge though. That is 100% guaranteed. Like for example, Malenia doesn't have bad hitboxes. Her attacks are just impossible to dodge sometimes. Okay, what the. F I need to get him to come close to me. Why is the ledge going against me? I wish I could actually spam Blade of Death from Torrent. That would help out a lot. Can he go like here, maybe? Can he actually do any... What is even over on this side? Nothing. Bro, he, this guy needs to stop shouting immediately. Can he actually do anything here, guys? Like, I have seriously no idea if this is gonna work out. Let's try it. Can you jump? Can you jump over here? Is the way to kill you a goddamn fence? Maybe we can... Okay. He can face through the fence, boys. Jesus Christ. That I did not expect. He can face through the goddamn fence. 
But now he's caged. <laughs> he's Nicholas caged. We'll be seeing dragons with Castrated, definitely. There is a couple of dragons in the mountaintops, guys. So that will definitely be on the menu today. I just need to focus a little bit for this fight, because this fight is horrible. Horrible hard. You're just a little bit outside of my range, which is just annoying me. Like, he's just a bit out of my range. Just a tiny little bit, and I can't hit him. It's actually really annoying. Like, look at this. I'm, like, almost able to hit him. There has to be a better cheesable spot here. No way I'm fighting this guy. I'm not yet prepared enough with my build to fight this guy. I mean, this is also a cheesable strat. Just use Torrent, run away. Spam the attack. That gives a lot of poise, but it also kills me almost. Run! Effects cancerous. Jesus. Torrent took over the front. Spam Torrent. Run away. Get over the fence. Shoot. Very nice. Another fence attack, and my god, he's flying over the goddamn fence yet again. No, no, jump! Idiot. Why does From Software always put like a very, very difficult boss in the worst possible situations? Shout back at him, if only I could, man. If only I could. That shout has to be the single most annoying attack that he has. It is definitely not a cheese. Oh, what? Okay, now we are just teleporting, guys. Now we are just teleporting and shouting back. Now this is this is actually getting me pissed off, guys. This is actually getting me pissed off. How is it fair that you can teleport and shout at the same time? What are you, Goku? Serious question. The hell is he, Goku? How is that not a runaway ball? How can I not run away from that? Lovell, what's up? Fuck, I pivoted. Not that pivot, man. I'm dead. Oh! Where is the grace? Where is the grace? I'm heading to the beginning of the stream. Good luck to you, man. Okay, we need to find a better strategy here, guys. Uh, I, did, I did play the German RPG Gothic, actually. It's quite an interesting game to play, honestly. Guys, we need a better strategy here. This guy is not gonna leave me alone in peace. The problem is I can't upgrade my weapons because I need to get to the fire giant basically before I can actually upgrade anything. Look up woolly cats, they don't trigger allergies. It doesn't really matter, like. Basically what I need to do is try cats. That is my... Okay, we, has to, we have to get good, guys. That is the only way. This is really a get good enemy. Just don't do any damage to him. This is the problem. Why am I not doing any damage to him? Is this hitbox not allowing me to do damage or something? Like, I was doing so much more damage to the Knight's Cavalry, guys. Okay. Maybe we can just do this. Like, bait out these, like, very easily baitable out attacks. Punish him with Black Knife. That. I think it's actually considerably safer to stay close to him than to actually run away from him. I think he's kind of designed to actually catch you when you run away. That seems to be the case for me. The problem is learning the dodge patterns though, which is not going to be an easy thing to do. This guy is an absolute menace. Why is this not the final boss? Like, literally. Just give this guy, like, more health. He will be a better final boss than the Elder Beast. No joke. Give him death and death on every attack and just bump his health up, health up by a lot. He's a better final boss than the other list. That's not gonna hit. His twin, his twin blade attacks are very confusing, by the way. Not used to fighting twin blades because she casts kind of like normal. I should actually do really a like a dex playthrough so I can actually try out twin blades in this game. Twin blades seem like a fun weapon to use. Okay, 
Okay, no, no. Black knife. And we dodge twice here. Ah, yeah. I get fucked twice here, actually, because he's stupid best in death attack. That's one thing I actually want to know, guys. Why are his weapons? Like, he actually drops you, like, I think the gargoyle axe or something like that. Why are those weapons not having, like, a death and death effect on it? Like, why don't we have an Ash of War that has death and death these, these weapons that he drops? Doesn't make any sense. They are literally from the guys who actually use death and death all the time. <laughs> Exo, uh, don't worry, man. Enjoy the stream. I'm able to glance at the chat just a little bit. I need to kill this guy first, then I can convert us with you guys more. Because this guy is not allowing me to focus on anything else at this moment. I think we need one more hit, boys. Black Knife is carrying me. If it wasn't for the Black Knife, this would be a much harder issue. GG. Let's go. Good night, Irene. Let's go. Nice. Just touch local contingent cats to build immunity. That's what I'm doing currently, actually. <laughs> That's what I'm doing currently. I need to interact more with cats so I can actually build immunity. Forbidden lands, goodbye. That's one major area. Let's go to the mountaintops, boys. Let's go to the mountaintops. We need a little bit more health here. I killed my... <laughs> yeah, look. Like, the, the, these, these weapons, guys. Like, just a second here. Like, why don't the... Also... By the way, I had a quite a good time farming uh, the armor set that I wanted because I have four fucking leggings and only one gauntlet. Like, I was farming this guy for like four hours, I think. It was actually super annoying. Uh, Kiraniki, what's up? Yeah, these weapons. Why don't they have like a Death and Death, like Ash of War or something? They look so cool, but they don't actually have any Death and Death effect on it. Why? There is one, uh, the Greatsword from these guys actually does have a Death and Death Ash of War. But this just says Spinning Slash. Why? <laughs> these weapons would be so cool if they had Death and Death. They look amazing. Mountaintops. Yeah, they look rusty. They look so, so cool to me. But they don't have a Death and Death effect. Alright. Back to the mountaintops. That's what I'm saying. Because death and death is OP. So what? If you can give us uh, two... If you can give us three death and death uh, weapons, you can give us two more. Bro, what do you mean? Like, you you have Malekith's Black Blade, you have the Black Knife, and you have the Gargoyle's great, great Sword. I'll show you later what I mean, why they don't do that. What is my favorite snack? Uh, spicy Peanuts. Spicy peanuts, I think, would be my favorite snack. I don't know why. I like spicy food. Shabriri. Alright, uh, here we need to pick up two things. We need to pick up the somber stone miner's bell bearing. And we need to pick up the uh, smithing stone's bell bearing. Where am I from? From Croatia. Oh, by the way, there is a exclamation mark Toto if you don't... Uh, if anybody asks... Uh, where did my name come from? Just type exclamation mark Toto. I think I actually made that command like the other day. Because people have been asking me that way too many times. Okay. <laughs> now the bot is going to break ag yet again. Oh, there we go. Okay. Perfect. The invasion of Streamlabs. That's the first thing. Smithing Stone Miner is bell bearing. Let's go grab the other one. Get Scorpion Stinger. I don't want to use uh, Scarlet Rot. Uh, the only other dagger that I want to use is the Glintstone Crisp because it's actually a really, really cool dagger. The Scarlet Rot one is not really interesting. It's cool. I'll mention it in the video. But it's not really... Like, it's just... It's just a cheese weapon at the end of the day. <coughs> I want to do a more interesting play. Stinger is going crazy. I actually watched CSGO, yes, quite a lot. Quite a lot. Have you seen Pasha Biceps? Yes, I did. Yeah, yeah, I did. He looks he looks pretty okay in the MMA fight that I saw. Is Black Black Incantation also Death and Death? Uh, yes and no. 
Black, Lay Black Blade incantations. Black Flame incantations. Like, I was killing this guy for like four hours, just so you know, because farming the set that I wanted. Black Flame incantations are lower forms of Destin Death, basically, because Destin Death has been like pulled out of them from the lore. But they, they function the same way. I should have started using drugs instead of CSGO. You actually have a good point there, Nicola. It's probably... It would probably have been wiser. You watch these Polish MMA freaks fight for Pasha? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, there is one. Oh. Brain fog. That was interesting. Uh, there is one, like, Serbian MMA fighter, Darko Stosic, who is currently fighting in Poland. I'd mean Black Blade. Then I don't know. Uh, plus eight, somber smithing stone. Why am I not running? Yeah, we need upgrades very, very much here. Uh, the reason why I wanted to go to the mountaintops first... Farmazula has three bosses, yeah. Do we allow cheese here? Do we allow cheese everywhere? Ah, uh, but I'm not gonna kill Kim Commander Nial with cheese, don't worry. Dark fights in KSW, KS KSW, yeah. Do I like Raptor Talons? I haven't actually tried them, so I don't have really an opinion on them, to be completely honest with you. I'll do a Dex playthrough sometime in the future, where we're actually gonna be trying out those claws, twin blades, scimitars, everything that I haven't played through. <coughs> that I haven't played with. I don't watch One Piece anymore. Where the hell is Latena? Latena? Hello? Ah, she actually tells you where the other medallion is. Oh, that is cute. Where is actually where is she actually located, guys? Ninety bosses done. Yeah, almost done, guys. She's just a spirit. Ah, okay. I didn't actually do her quest line ever, so I didn't know that. In my pocket, yeah, I don't have pocket Raten. Uh, Latena. I have pocket Rani though. I don't know if we have a Polish organization. I, I watch MMA everywhere. I watch Bellator, I watch UFC, I watch KSW. Not all, I, I watch mostly UFC, to be completely honest with you. But I do watch the other organizations also well. I also watch 1FC from time to time. Because 1FC also has like... That's the Asian MMA organization. They also have like very, very good fighters. Oh no, the Death Ride Bird doesn't need cheese, yeah. Cheese is gonna get wrecked with... Uh, Celebrities, oh um, I don't get me started on celebrity fights, please. If I hear one more goddamn news that Elon Musk is gonna fight Mark Zuckerberg, I'm gonna fling myself off the balcony. Like, I cannot stand that shit anymore. I have done it with... Uh, I was done with Conor McGregor versus Mayweather. That, that, that's where I drew the line. After that, I was like, can this stop, please? Please let this stop. This has to stop, guys. This is getting out of hand. Nobody cares about those guys. <laughs> yeah, at least those two were fighters. Exactly, from Sotter Lover. At least those two were fighters. But that's also kind of like a celebrity fight because it's cross... Cross sports. Don't forget CM Punk. Don't get... I, I can... That is more acceptable than the current situation. Like, there was... I, I watched one clip of Logan Paul versus... I think he was fighting at the time Ben Askren. And then my entire fucking YouTube feed was Logan Paul fights. And I was like, please let it stop. I had to block channels. Because I just couldn't stand hearing that anymore. It was so annoying. Why are they even fighting? Because they have nothing better to do. I look like CM Punk. I mean, CM Punk looks nice. Don't get me started. Don't get him. Don't get me wrong. Bro, can we actually get over here? I want to. I want you to break that part over there so I can get some uh, get some upgrade materials. Oh my God. Both of them seem very good at burning money. Maybe, yeah. Okay, this guy is refusing to go. Actually, I need this guy, don't I? I was taking the wrong. I was taking the wrong giant. Yeah, 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 Redneck, you're right. I forgot he actually existed. 
YouTube fucking censored Logan Paul is an idiot? What do you mean, Lord Vader? Yeah, that's the music from The Witcher 3. I actually really need to... I played Witcher 3 like four times. Because it's such a good game. Blood and... Oh. Can we actually just appreciate the fact, like, guys, like, Blood and Vine uh, from The Witcher 3 is like... Like 15 euros dollars. I what the hell are you guys doing? Will you? F it's like 15, 15, 14 dollars right now, and it's like it's an entire game in another game. Like it's insane how good actually CD Projekt Red has done with those games, done with that game. And then the fall to Cyberpunk is so funny to me. I've read the first book, but I'm not much of a book reader, so I'm. It's gonna take me some time to actually uh, read all the books. I know they're good though. What I wanted. Please stop burning my ass. Thank you. I never played Witcher. Oh, uh, you should really play Witcher 3. If you like RPGs, that that's a game I definitely recommend. It's gonna take you a while to beat it, but it's a it's a journey. It's definitely a journey. Maybe speed it up, we'll see. Wait, somebody wrote Logan Paul is an idiot? I mean... It's no wonder that YouTube is censoring that. I played Witcher 2. I played a little bit of Witcher 1. But it was way too old. That's why I couldn't get through it. I think if I played Witcher 1 when it was released, or near its release, I would probably like it a lot. Because it does seem like a good game. Yeah, Witcher 3 is on sale forever. I, I bought like Witcher 3 two times, PC and PS4. Witcher 2, Witcher 2 is a good game though. You, you can play Witcher 2 after you play Witcher 3. Jadr, how? What's up? How are you today? Witcher 2 is not as old. Also, I, I kind of like Witcher 2 story a bit more because it's a little bit more focused and linear. I'm not really a big fan of open world games at the end of the day though. What is a Witcher run in Elden Ring? Double swords? What? What would that even be? Summerstone Minus Bell Bearing plus three. Perfect. Perfecto. And there is more smithing stones over here. I, I would say Sekiro is harder than Elden Ring, yeah. In Elden Ring, you can pretty much summon two phantoms and trivialize the entire game. In Sekiro, you can't do that. I've watched Bucky, yes. I've watched Bucky. It's like the most ridiculous shit anybody has come up with ever. And I love it. <laughs> Yujiro Hanma. First part, like, what, what are the first chapters of Bucky uh, in the manga? Like, Bucky throws, his, throws himself off the side of the cliff to activate his near death sense. What about chat beats Eldering for me? I'm pretty sure that is completely impossible. It's theoretically possible, but in practice, it's not really. Bucky is more crazy, what are we even talking about? Jojo is not crazy at all when compared to, to Bucky, man. In Bucky, a guy pulled out a nose hair and shot somebody in the eye and blinded him. Like, you can't get more insane than that. One guy that let the entire chat beat... That guy has way too much time on his hands. I swear to God. By the way, I, did, you guys, did you guys know that some, some guy has beat Elden Ring blindfolded? Entirely blindfolded. I watched the run yesterday. He was using glitches and stuff. I, it's fair, but still, it's blindfolded Elden Ring run. It's insane. It's so good, bad. I love it, yeah. Jojo fell off hard. It didn't. I didn't watch. I didn't read Jojolian, but Part Seven was great. Everybody's praising Part Seven. Uh, I think we're gonna go for Fire Giant. Yeah, Fire Giant is gonna go give us a lot of runes, and then we're gonna be better prepared for the. Let's be honest, Fire Giant is not a hard boss fight, guys. After your 20th playthrough, Fire Giant is really not a hard boss fight. <laughs> Indeed, Toxtrio. Toxtrio. <clears throat> I kind of have a craving, a very, very weird craving to rewatch the first part of Naruto for some reason. Because the first part was actually really, really good. Wait, he is not going to be reduced, Redneck? We're gonna test that. We're gonna test that. <clears throat> Let me just get to him first, though. Uh, I did watch Bleach, yeah. But that was a long time ago. 
Like, currently, I'm not interested in watching it again. I've just kind of, like, outgrown it. Let's go pay a visit to Okina first. There is also a smithing stone that I need here. Chat on skinny frozen? That's normal, Redneck. It's just because of the... Uh, YouTube chat that just doesn't update that much. But it's not frozen. It's gonna update, like, very, very soon. And it's just gonna be, like, a brush of words. There you go. How is this build gonna deal with Okina, though? Okina is a bitch... In every sense of the word. Do we have enough poise to tank Rivers of Blood? That's the question. But he does, he does way too much damage. Deals way too much damage. Okay, now time to go for a space program. The Kerbal Space Program. Or the Elden Ring. We can activate this jump. <laughs> go by! Oh, no, no! no. <laughs> I swear to god, I hate the Rivers of Blood. I hate the Rivers of Blood when you don't have a way to stagger enemies. Alright. This is the reason why we need... Okay. That was that. This is the reason why we need a uh, uh, Crackblade. Because if you want to fight NPCs like this, Crackblade is super necessary. We don't break poise, that's the problem with daggers. That is the problem with daggers. This build, when I do PvP with it later in the in the run, I'm going to be using actually incantations much more than I actually use uh, anything else. I need more rune arcs as well. Yeah, be rivers of blood. I mean, any weapon is good for PvE. Mm, basically, there, there is no bad weapon for PvE, but rivers of blood is pretty good. Yeah, it does a lot of damage. Especially if you if you do if you power stance katanas, then it's really really good. Where is where you get crack blade? Yeah, Caleb. We get it in Caleb, but that's why we need to clear out mountain tops first. Sacred seal as a melee weapon, it's horrible. <laughs> it's almost like bare fist. I'm losing rune arc. I'm losing rune arcs left, right, and center. Also runes. I forgot I actually lost runes there. Can I go and pick them back up? Let me just go grab the uh, the golden seed. We have two, which is nice. Yeah, there are two NPC fights right here, right? There is Vike, but he's not exactly an NPC fight. Vike is gonna be an issue, though. Vike is gonna be definitely an issue. Like, build, build, the build has weaknesses against mobile enemies and uh, uh, NPCs or invaders. That's where the build is gonna struggle, because we don't have a way to, like, stun them. We can fix that later on with Ashes of War, though. How many runes did I use? I mean, lose. Uh, 30k, but we can get it back. Don't worry. I need those 30k to upgrade the daggers. We can get a plus 19 dagger right now. Or daggers. Basically, after Kaled is done, we are, we are done with the build. Like, then we are gonna be doing absurd amounts of damage. Just go back to this place. Have you had Bernal fight the Godskin Duo with you? What do you mean, have I had? Of course I had. You poke him with a chopstick, he pokes him with a giant pike. Yeah, indeed, that's, gonna, that's what's gonna happen. Uh, not only here he has a giant pike, he has a giant mm, frenzy pike. Alright. Let's go to the round table first. That's what we need. Are you going to post a shorter video off of this stream? Uh, I was thinking about what I'm going to do with this, uh, with this like playthrough or run. I'm definitely not going to do like a four-hour video like Gino does. I think I'm going to just do like very, very highly edited, highly scripted highlights, and. Uh, Explain to you guys how the build functions, how to make it, how the run functions, blah, 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 this, this so on and so forth. Create a story around it. And uh, send people over to watch the VODs if they want to watch the full playthrough. I think that's a better idea. Uh, what do we have? We have... Actually, we have a lot of these. We have plus... We need... 
we need 6-6, six, six, so we need 4 here. And we need 14 more here, and that should be enough. What's the favorite dagger? This one. They are really, really powerful. But they need a lot of setup. We are, we are still not quite done with the setup, like, not even close. So the... Uh, we still need to actually experience the full potential of these weapons. If you want to know the full potential of these weapons, go over to my TikTok. There is a, I think, like, the second to last TikTok that I posted where I just obliterated Radagon, like, a matter of seconds. If you want to know the full potential of the weapons. Okay, plus 19. Plus 19. Somber 8, that's actually really nice. We are getting spec'd, guys. We are getting spec'd quite highly. We can actually go golden buff. Not really necessary, though. Uh, XO, what's up? Can we level up maybe 40k? Let's try the fire giant. Let us first give an attempt to the fire giant. Do I need anything else? I, mean, I can buy shit from this guy, but it doesn't really matter. Is there any, like... I can buy shit from him later. We're gonna be using a lot of incantations in the DLC, though. <coughs> Let's see. Uh, first, remove this. After Kaelid and Mount Tops, you're going to Mount Gelmir, just so you know. Uh, I didn't kill anything in Mountain Tops yet. Maybe Deathbird first. Let's go for the Deathbird first, guys. We can also get this, though. Okay, we need two bosses before the fire giant Deathbird and uh, the goddamn trees. I want to kill the trees first. The trees give you the Thorny Crack tier, which increases consecutive attack damage, which is really, really good for daggers. Raikar will be fun. Raikar will be easy. Bla we have Destined Death and Frostbite on our side. Like, Raikar will be very, very easy. Also, we have Poison on our side. We can Poison Raikar, we can Frostbite Raikar, we are gonna destroy Raikar, don't worry. Raikar is not going to be an issue. What's our damage up right now? Uh, our A, oh my god, our AR is 400? Why is the other AR lower? Ah, because this one is 20, wait. So my, my AR is already 400. 500 on a dagger, guys. With 60 faith, so we're not even close to being maxed out. Yeah, Raikar does unfrostbite himself, that's why frostbite is so good against him. Tori Tears and Consecrated Snowfield? It isn't. Wait, let me check. Let me check that, guys. How do you get two Warsteel Daggers? You get two from the base game, which is actually quite funny. You get one here, in Landell, and the other one you get from uh, the Bastard Height, here. You actually get two in-game, which is actually super cool. Because you don't need to, like, dupe them or anything like that. Thorny cracked here. Let me check that, guys. How did I get that wrong? It's in the consecrated one. Ah, fuck. <coughs> Wait, let me just do a quick check here. I was confused. There is another tier you get here. Thorny crack tier. It's in consecrated snowfield. Ah. I thought it was actually here. What do you get even here then? I think you get the crimson bubble tier and something of the other thing. Earth tree avatar mount tops. Earth tree avatar mount cerulean crimson bubble. Okay, I was wrong. So we can't actually get it. We'll just go for the. We will just go for the uh, death bird first. It's gonna give us more uh, runes. That's what I need. The Ice Dragon is really hard. The Ice Dragon needs to be done after the Fight Giant. We need runes first. Yeah, Halic Tree is for the last, yeah. Halic Tree is gonna be the hardest part, so. Borealis. I'm totally sane, what's up? I want to level up a bit. We are a little bit under leveled. Like, you, you would need to be, like, level 100 for optimal setup for this place. 
So we're gonna grab first a couple of runes and then we're gonna go for the fire giant. I don't believe the fire giant is gonna be hard. Status effects against Borealis? No, no, no. We're just gonna fight him. I don't, I don't believe Borealis is gonna be a, that much of a problem at the end of the day. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Uh, Jotaro Dio. <laughs> That's a cool name. Thank you for the compliment, man. Glad you enjoyed the videos, guys. <coughs> if you haven't checked out the previous video, go out and check. Go and check it out, though. <coughs> or the latest video, I should say. How do you like the, the the video posting schedule, guys, of every two weeks? Is that okay, guys? Would you like to get like more videos if I could actually upload them? I'm actually curious about your opinion. How does boss is Malenia? There is no argument there. Still waiting for Shield Run is sorry, man. It's gonna come out next week. It's coming out next week. No hit Malenia. One day maybe. I'm not yet ready for no hit Malenia. I need to I need to no hit the game first in the perfect way. By weekly up I am like it's the it's the schedule that I can stick to. If I try to upload like every week, like it's just way too much upload. Also, I have a theory, guys. If a YouTuber uploads too much, people watch less videos of him. I don't. That, that is only what I noticed about myself. But if people upload videos way too much, I just kind of like can't keep up. I just watched the previous video, I need to watch another one. Yeah, it's Witcher, it's Witcher 3 soundtrack, yeah. Let's see if this is gonna work out. This is not the Death Bird, this is the Death Right Bird, which are the harder versions. The only problem with Sacred Blade is... How did that miss? How did that miss? Toto, what the fuck? 2,000 damage? Okay, that's insane. The problem is he also does 2,000 damage to me. Okay, why is the mount... <laughs> Guys, why are the mountaintops this ridiculous? Always. Why are the mountaintops this ridiculous? Like, I'm... Level 90. The damage, like, see, Donkey is 100% right. The damage scaling in the mountaintops is absurd. It is absurd. I'm aware of it, but I'm always amazed when I get to this place. We need more rune arcs, guys. Where, I can, where can I buy even more rune arcs? I need a rune arc merchant, boys. I can't fight him like this. I need rune arcs. Bye bye. Good fight. For Death Ride Bird, it's absolutely terrible. They're, they're like they're like end bosses, man. Like it's insane. He's shooting me all the way from the other side. I will cheese, don't worry, but uh first you don't have the luxury of save files in, in the PS4 version. Second half of the endgame bosses? Maybe, yeah. You kind of have a point there. Uh, who sells rune arcs? Do you sell rune arcs? There has to be a better way to get rune arcs in the game, guys. The thing is, like, my main character, which I actually did the first playthrough with, only has around 50 to 60 rune arcs. <laughs> I'm cutting off there? Zero rocks. Every single time I do a stream. <laughs> YouTube Studio. Stream health. Stream health is excellent. Stream health is excellent, guys. Literally excellent. Alright. <clears throat> uh, where do we get rune arcs? That was my goal. Let's go back. Let's go back. Stream had been hit by Destined Death, maybe. <laughs> YouTube is weird when it comes to streams, though. 
Uh, it's, not, it's not on my part. Like, OBS is uh, telling me everything is working as intended. So I have no idea what is happening, guys. <laughs> hey, hey, Vader, what's up? Uh, why can't I buy goddamn fucking Grunarx? Jesus Christ. That, where, okay. Do I really need to go on the wiki and find out where I can get the Runarx? Seriously? Who sells goddamn Runarx, guys? I swear to God. Guys, everything is going wrong today. It's one of those streams again. <laughs> it's one of those streams, guys. I have do Okay, now OBS is going working against me for some reason. <laughs> I have no idea what happened there. Like I have it I have the key binding for stream starting on the plus sign. And I did not press the plus sign, guys. But watching too much stand games does to motherfucking problem, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. That was not intentional, trust me. Yeah, the picture with the... Uh, it's not actually a picture, it's a live wallpaper. You can actually download it from the internet somewhere. Chest loot run is... Uh, that's basically a no-upgrade run. Uh, Jadrahal. Because I don't think you get all the, some, all the smithing stones needed to upgrade weapons. In chests. Also not... Actually, um, those kind of runs are interesting, but... Uh, I have other runs in mind that I want to do first. I've got hit by the Lightning Traveler. Painting only run has been done multiple times. But it's a good run. It's a fun run. Uh, I have a couple of runs that I want to do. Like, if, you, if, you, if you're in the Discord, you know what kind of runs I want to do next, so... Okay. Get that, get this. We're gonna need that as well. Let me grab all the other ones. I think I'm gonna make a safe out here, guys, honestly. I know safe outs are a little bit weird when it comes to PS versions, but better than not to have them. Let's purchase this. Let's go back to this. Where is the discount link? In the description, guys. In the descriptions. Yeah, no no upgrades run is way harder than SL1. Yeah, that's that, that's not even an argument there, man. Uh, yesterday I played Battlebit and Chivalry 2, so yeah, I do play games on screen. I'm a gamer through and through, so... Wouldn't be doing this if I wasn't. I'm lost in the new London Ruins. That place can be a little bit confusing, yeah. Secret is not working because you don't, I don't want to put it every single stream, man, that's why. Yeah, randomizer runs are mostly always fun, I agree. I mean, you, sometimes you may get like a boring C, though. We don't want to abuse the secret too much, Edman, but that, 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 I'll, that I'll put in here and there, occasionally. There's no need for abuse there. It's not, it's not gonna be funny if I put it in every single stream. People will get a joke. Can we cheese the death bird? Bro, what the hell? Oh no. Okay, just spam roll. Don't worry about anything. Bro, I hate life. Ah! That was way too close. It literally burned. It literally burned Torrent's ass a bit. 
but we're okay. By the way, can we actually appreciate how cool these guys look? Like, they look absolutely terrifying. The hell? Will you calm down for a goddamn second, man? Jesus Christ. Will you calm the fuck down? Wait, how does the Black Knight actually do against these guys? How does the Black Knight do? How does this... It's holy damage still, but... A little bit different version of holy damage. Black Knight seems to be also very, very good against these guys. It has a different type of hitbox, so you can actually hit these guys much more often, I think. Is it gonna hit? Nope. Okay. Let's go back to good old holy damage, guys. Attack! Thankfully, they are not immune to death and death, which is good. So we can just slap them with death and death a couple of... Oh, Jesus Christ. That, that stab was way too fast. Okay. What is that attack? Okay, I didn't find these guys... I don't fight these guys often, so I'm a little bit surprised by the amount of stupid attacks that they throw at me. Oh, Jesus. Stay still! I can't hit him if you don't stay still. Oh, <laughs> Please stay still, like, what the f I need a moment to- I fucking got pecked, Jesus Christ. This is certain death. Guys, what the fuck is this boss fight? Swear to God, guys. Not aiming at the head is probably a good idea. Yeah. I think we're just gonna black knife him. I think we're just gonna black knife him and be done with it. I wouldn't agree that they have a hard moveset Molenia, but yeah, they're definitely annoying. The best thing about these birds, you don't have to find a single one. Bro, imagine if we, imagine if we had to fight two of these at the same time. A double death right bird fight. Imagine that in the DLC, guys. That would be absolutely horrible. That would be... Oh my god, that would be horrible. I must not give uh, Miyazaki any ideas on that. Yeah, Holy Pots would be a good idea, but it's not allowed. Yeah, guys, that's not allowed for me. We need to fight them. But Gino could do... Uh, yeah, that's not true. G Gino is... Uh, he's beyond any enemy in the game. Okay, I need to hit this guy. I need to hit a head. Because if I hit a head, it's 4,000 damage. It's insane. Like, the enemy is almost dead, but... Okay, that's a punish. Okay, holy damage is a little bit busted against these. What the hell is that attack? What the fuck was that attack? That was the coolest shit I've ever seen. How is it so easy, guys? How is it so hard and then it's so easy, guys? <laughs> Gino is 5'4. <laughs> so what? Okay, how is it so easy, guys? Okay, I'll, I'll accept it. I'll move on with my life. Let's go fight an easier boss, the fire giant, guys. Let's go fight an easier boss, guys. Grab my runes again. No, don't turf holy. Holy damage is bad. <laughs> let, let me grab my 22 runes and be on my way. Uh, Over here. There is a Geno patch incoming? Finally. <laughs> <laughs> Took a while. 69 plus 22 boys. And death right birds, right? There's not too many bosses in the mountaintops, thankfully. I did not use consumables. No, I usually never use consumables in my first round of From Software games. I usually just go pure melee. Alright. Fire giant time. I gave Michael Zaki an idea. We're gonna fight two death birds, aren't we? Oh my god, it's gonna be horrible. I don't want to fight two death birds in the DLC in Miyazaki. Please don't make me do that. Please don't make me do that. I'll rock a holy build any day of the week. 
Imagine, just imagine, guys. Yeah, Wunga Bunga, definitely. Imagine if the DLC is gonna maintain, like, a bunch of, like, holy... Negative, negative resistance holy enemies. And, uh, I actually go into the, into the DLC with a holy build and de decimate every single enemy in there. That would be so funny. Alright, what do we do against you? We first destined death you. That is my first major accomplishment here. Or major achievement. Pop! Good attack. What's the damage output? Pretty okay. Not bad. Could be worse. I've seen worse damage outputs. Okay. We're just gonna slow, slowly chip at his skin. That's our goal. Slowly hit him. No need to rush this. Yeah, he, his health doesn't get reduced. What the hell? Why? What is the lore reason behind that, guys? Why doesn't the health get reduced? That's interesting. Oh, fuck. Time to scratch the fire giants. This might be a little bit more harder than I initially planned, though. If shit hits the fan, we are using the death and death attacks. There is always a solution if shit hits the fan. Death and death attack, guys. Yeah, still a face okay, now he's. Now we destined death. Now we just destined death over and over into his face. Destined death, destined death. Now it's something good. It's nice. Like, we don't do enough damage right now to. with our pure melee dagger, so we need to rely on destined death here. Otherwise, the fight is gonna take years. How did that not hit him? What the hell is not hitting him? Okay. Absolute failure. Absolute goddamn failure. For some reason, Destiny Death Attacks were not hitting. Let's get hand behind his ass. I need to pop the balls. The balls are incredibly dangerous. Need this guy to miss attacks. Very careful. Don't rush this, Toto. No need to rush this. Fire Giant is a menace to all societies, and he's just turning around like I'm not even worth fighting. What the hell? Fire Giant, what the hell are you doing? Slap. What the hell is he doing? He's behaving weird. He's behaving very weird, guys. Bro! Fire Giant is one of those bosses, if you know how to fight him, he's really not that bad at the end of the day. What? Now I know why, why we call this the utter bullshit attack, guys. That was cheating. Bro, what the fuck? Wait, did the chat disconnect? Just a second, you guys. Seems to be okay. Okay. Oh uh, no, it was just saying the this connection error for some reason. Ah, okay, it's back. Okay, now it's everything back. Perfect. Okay, fire giant and his bullshit. Tent number two. <laughs> you should invest into death, yeah. <laughs> how did that actually hit me? I actually have no idea how that even hit me, guys. I have no idea. I should have been able to dodge that with Torrent, but for some reason I couldn't. How's the run going? Pretty good, man. Stream is resisting today? Yeah, it's resisting for me to stream, it seems. It's one of those days, guys. It happens like every single week. One of those days is always a shit week. Oh, one of those days is always a shit day, not shit week. Excuse my bad English. 
Slap, 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 scratch, scratch, scratch. Destroyed. Absolutely annihilated. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Only I could break your poise. Only I could break your poise. It would make my life so much easier. Uh, we'll use Death and Death for second phase. Death and Death is going to be kept for second phase. Sacred Blade. Give me damage, though. I think Sacred Blade is one of those underrated weapon arts, guys. It does seem to be quite useful here. I'm doing significantly more damage with Sacred Blade with Fusion on than without it. Fire pillar, scratch his toes. Did not see the attack, but I wasn't meant to dodge it. Nice. Uh, okay. Dodge that. Kick into this. Bam. Nice. We're actually getting so fast with the first phase, guys. How are we getting so fast with the first phase? I don't know. But it's amazing. Slap his face. One. Two. Nice. I'm right behind them. Don't get hit by the meteorites. They killed me outright in one of my playthroughs. What? Watch out for the other bullshit attack. I will not take that ever again lightly. Never take the other bullshit attack again lightly. I'm serious. I'm seriously afraid now. Right now, fighting the fire giant the way he killed me last time. <laughs> Jump! After bullshit, let's go. Kill him in the dick, and kill him in the dick. Let's go. Let's go. Sixty-nine plus twenty-three. No hit kill. Is it a no hit kill? I mean, I, I, I did fight a fire giant way too many times at the end of the day. No hit kill. Let's go, boys. Let's go. I think we're not going to be getting Caleb today, though. <laughs> we're at least going to be going into Caleb, I think, today. Oh, I didn't pop the feet. God damn it. No matter. Not bad at the end of the day. We'll pop the, we'll pop the feet at the other bosses, though. Nice. Uh, okay. Let me mark the idiot over here. He is dead. Now. <laughs> no hit Gideon. I'm gonna try. Now we need more health, guys. We need more health here. We need more health and endurance. Problem is leveling up now is becoming a little bit hard. Um, Vike. Let's go for Vike. Why not? Let's actually go for Vike, guys. He seems like a fun, white, fun, fun fight to have. How much Vike, how much does Vike actually give you in runes, guys? No, no, no. Mine is not gonna be leveled. Also, we are gonna be switching to an intelligence build when we actually go to the... When we actually go to Mount Gjelnir. Uh, that is the thing that I have in mind. I know Vike is actually a pretty hard boss fight, guys. Uh, what is the other enemy that's immune to death and death, Redneck? I have no idea, actually. Who is the other one who is immune? I have no idea. I've never, I've never used this in death a lot, so I have no idea. Uh, we'll do Borealis after. Gotry Phase 2 is immune to death. That's so interesting. Why are there immune? Is there a low reason for that? That, that? that sounds very, very interesting. Vike, my boy. I'm not taking you lightly. I'll, res I'll respect your power, man. But I will also beat you up. You can buff all you like, my friend. Nice. Nice slap. Why doesn't he actually apply Frenzy? That's interesting. Can he be backstabbed, guys? He can, right? Oh, he's actually... Bro, he baited me in that one. That's insane. I don't have any poise to fight these guys. That's the main problem right now. I'm gonna have to abuse range attacks. Yeah, I have no, I have no poise to fight these guys. Like, I need the bulldoze here. Oh, not good trade. Not good. Oh, don't roll catch me, Vi. Please, don't roll catch me. That 
would not be a fun way to die. Bro is actually baiting me. What is going on? He's like... <laughs> that has a lingering hitbox. Interesting. Oh my god, that's a lot of damage. Jesus Christ, Vike, what the... What even are you, man? You are an absolute me monster. How are you not the Elden Gord? And GG. That is the reason why you're not the Elden Gord. Uh, Ryan, thanks for the compliment, man. Oh, we actually get the finger. Oh, I forgot we actually get the fingerprint shield here. Nice. 69 plus 24. They programmed him to do that, which is quite interesting. Definitely, that has to be a programmable thing. Uh, round table night. Vike, let's go for the Tibia Mariner in the Snow Valley Ruins Overlook. Where the hell is that even located, guys? Wait, is the Tibia Mariner an actual boss fight over here, guys? I mean, I could kill him. He's the one guy who actually gives you... He doesn't have a health bar, so he's not a boss fight. If he doesn't have a health bar, he's not a boss fight, guys. Easy runes, yeah, but no need to kill him then. We have other things to kill, like for example, Commander Nial. 69 plus 24, did we actually get up to a good count? Uh, two here. I'll do a recount later on. No, no need to worry about it immediately. Okay, so we have Borealis. Which is over here. We have the trees. We have the Godskin Spirit, which is like over here, right? And... Uh, Commander Nial, obviously. Giants Conquering Hero's Grave. Uh, which one should we go first, guys? Let's go for the... Let's go for the Hero's Grave. Let's clear, let's clear out these annoying graves first, then we go on to the more uh, harder bosses, let's say it like that. Did you clear the catacomb? Nope. Godskin, Godskin spirit will be taken care of, don't worry. Can we level up? I have 80k runes, yes. We'll clear out the graves first, because they're always, like, kind of easier boss fights at the end. At least from what I can tell. We now need at least 50 vigor. That is going to be very, very necessary. We don't have enough. What's our defenses, even? We're pretty much 20 in everything. Yeah, the Godskin duo is going to be annoying. Also, what is this cave? I think the spirit summon that I will use for this uh, character in DLC is going to be, like, the, the Hawk. The Warhawk Deanth. I think that's going to be a curious spirit summon to play around with. Hop! Oh my god! <laughs> Voluntary suicide, nice. Die! There is a place beneath this place, right? I need to remember this cave. I need to remember this cave. There is... Ah, there is the other elevator. Okay, I have no idea how to actually do this. Duo is weak to slash. That could actually help out a lot. The problem is for for the optimal fight for the Godskin Duo, I need uh, fire. You didn't know that, Matt? That's the weirdest catacomb? Maybe. I mean, every catacomb is pretty much progressively becoming the weirder one. Yeah, I need fire infusion for the Godskins. That's the optimal infusion, I think, for them. I think they're pretty resistant to poly. Wait, they're both resistant to fire? Why do I have it in my mind that they're not resistant to fire? Let me double check that. Oh my god, the cat. Oh, not the cat. Oh, not the frostbite. <laughs> not the frostbite, okay. Oh, the cat is coming. The cat is goddamn coming. Oh, fuck. Not the frostbite! Roll, roll, roll! 
Open up the traps. Okay, is the cat gonna die to the frostbite? That is the thing that I want to happen right now. Oh, not the imps. Why, why have these caves like... Oh! <laughs> I'm killing myself. It looks like a cat, but it may be a dog, I have no idea. So they're medium to fire and wholly interesting. Low status effect is I know about that. They, they get bled and poisoned very easily though. Oh, this cave is gonna be an absolute hellhole. Yeah, mountaintops of the giants really racks up the difficulty for this challenge run, guys. I don't need to go down there. I wanted to see what was down there, honestly. And I don't have any Runax again. Let's just remove the armor set a little bit for now. I don't have any Runax, so I have to do. I'll have to make do with this. I'll figure it out, boys. Don't worry. Just give me some time. I need to find a way to actually get the Runar, so... I, I think I'm just gonna farm, like, rats off-screen, guys. That's what I'm gonna do. I think there is no other way than just to farm rats off-screen. Like a billion rats. Elevator. Thank you. What rats? Rats drop Runarks. That's basically... The only reliable source of rune arc farming is killing rats. There is a bunch of rats over near the windmill village, which I can actually abuse. Oh. Let's find the gate. Okay, let's watch out for the imps, because their imps are plenty. They have way... They have, like... It is an interesting fact for you guys. This imp has around four, uh, has around 1,000 HP. Uh, the final boss in Dark Souls 1 has only 4,000. I think the rats are just kind of like eating dead shit and that's why they get rune arcs. Something like that. You can also invade. Probably a good idea actually, yeah, but it takes more time. It will be easier to farm the rats. If invading gives you like five rune arcs instead of like one, then invading will be more useful. But that's just the amount of rune art that it gives is just way too low. Also, this is not really a build for invading, though. Four imps could beat one DS1 boss, yeah. Kind of, yeah. Gwyn has around 5,000 HP, I think. These imps are like around 1,000 each. Insane when you put it into perspective. Death by guillotine? Nice. What? It Death by explosion. Very nice. What is this place again? I forgot what you even get here. What does boss's thought mean? Uh, thought is a German word for death. That's what it means. So boss is dead. Need to remember what this dungeon actually leads to even. Because I have zero clue. There is a... Maybe riding the guillotine? That's always a way to actually progress with the caves. Let's try that. Oh no, it's this here. Okay. Where is the lever, Miyazaki? Please give me some rune arcs, man. <laughs> I need the rune arcs. Now oh, that's a sexy jar. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> Bro, these jars are absolutely insane. I believe it's under the elevator. I also believe it's under the elevator. Let me just double check here. It's not up the guillotines. That's not this dungeon. Is it over there? Let's not get guillotine first. Pop! Run! Jump! Is it over here? Nope. What's the drop rate for of the pony statue from Jars? What the hell is the pony statue? 
Okay, he's over here. Uh, this cave is just so confusing, man. Oh, yeah. A giant testicle. Nice. There is no way anybody can convince me that these guys don't look like testicles, guys. There's no way. Testicles that spew poison. <laughs> when in doubt, roll through a wall. You're not wrong. That's just nutty, yeah. <laughs> Good one. So we're back over here. I fuck it, this cave. Jesus Christ, Miyazaki. Miyazaki, you really need to calm it down with these goddamn caves. Or catacombs or whatever. Is it over here? Seek rump. Wait, what? <laughs> Try down indeed, my man. Try down indeed. Immediately into a goddamn jar. Have I tried Melina's dagger? Yes. We have it equipped, actually. I uh, don't have Morgo to market shackles. I just roll into shit, honestly. I actually enjoy rolling into walls. Oh my. I'm gonna get road killed by jars. I can just actually teleport back to the, like, the beginning. It's much easier to do this at the end of the day. I don't have any runes here to lose. Borgot's test. Let me actually fix my chair. Alright. Let's fight the boss. I think the boss is a Zamor Knight. Or a double Zamor fight, I forgot. You don't know, like in the olden days, guys, you didn't have a Marg Shackle or a Morgo Shackle. You, you need, you need to roll into walls, guys. That was, that's what how it was done for years, and I'm not changing that transition. Bongus, what's up? Uh, <sighs> These names are so annoying, man. This elevator ride is even more annoying, though. Die! Get the blade of calling? I have. Bam! Very nice, actually, weapon art for cleaning out mobs. The blade of calling it is. Bro, he's just spamming throwing knives. Peak gameplay right here. Why does my throwing knife not do that much damage, man? Tips are Pontiff Sullivan. Uh, try to parry him. If you figure out how to parry the Pontiff, he's gonna be much easier. Yeah, uh, the shackles reveal the hidden doors. Uh, uh, Vasto Lord. Basically reveals all the hidden walls in the vicinity. It's basically how they function. No stake of America, perfect. God, I'm cardio routine for the boss fight again. Oh no, it's this guy. Oh no, not this guy. Not this guy. Well, death and death it is. Death and death. This is why I need fire infusion, guys. At least we do some solid damage. At least we do some solid damage, at least. One more hit and then we heal. Oh, explosion. Explosion. No! Is this instant death? This has to be instant death. It isn't, thank god. I mean, it's almost instant death because it puts me into a corner. This is the problem with region locks. Region locks are actually very hard playthroughs, guys. Because I can't fix... I can't fix the boss fight with... Optimal build preparation. Like, I need to fight shit at the end of the day here. Region locking... Adding region lock on any rule set is like making every rule set much more difficult. That was a stagger. Test in death. Slap. That's a lot of damage. That's an explosion. What the fuck? Wait, what? That actually hits you from way over there. That's cheating. That's the death finish off. Oh! Anime moment. Anime moment. 
absolutely traded with that guy at the end of the day. Alright. 69 plus 25. That is the ulcerated tree spirit. Very nice. Let me just check one thing here real quick, guys. Okay. Let's go for the Earth Tree Avatar now. That's a Death Root. I don't need Death Roots, but I'll take it. Might be useful later on. They made Scarlet Earth versions of everything because, I don't know, Scarlet Earth is like an integral part of the game at the end of the day. 90, 94? Nice. Very, very nice. Only 70 more to go. This game has too many bosses, guys. Because Loria. When was actually the last lore video for Elden Ring released by Vati? Vati hasn't released a video for ages, man, when it comes to Elden Ring. Uh, dead. I should try Gorang's dagger. Uh, Goran, Gorang's dagger doesn't do much to us. For us. I mean, Gorang's dagger is okay if you want to do like a Bishle Incantation build. Which we might actually do later on. Bishle Incantation build might not be that bad. Uh, but uh, because we're gonna be using daggers, so might as well actually put on more incantations on top of the daggers because we are a fate build at the end of the day. Ah, Dusk Command was the last one. Yeah, Vati is just focused on armor core. That's basically what he's doing right now. Uh, trees, right? L please tell me there is a stake of America somewhere over there, so I don't need to run run all the way to to, up to that place again. Drama aspects of the Lord. Small Town I've watched a couple of times, but pretty much I think I've watched every single Small Town video, so I'm pretty much cut up to the lore as much as I can be. Yeah, but what is this going for the... Let us take a tip, thank God. Thank the Lords. Let me just check if this isn't a boss fight, guys. I'm pretty sure this guy isn't a boss fight. Maybe we can kill him real fast, though. There is a Tibia Mariner somewhere over here. I always forget exactly where he's going. What boss do I want in the DLC? Uh, I can tell you what boss I don't want. A double death right bird. <laughs> That's what I don't want. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty much okay with every boss that comes up and has ever created. With most of them, at least. So I'm not really particularly... Like, I'm not afraid that I'm not going to like the DLC. That's not going to happen. This guy is not a boss fight. This is not a boss fight, but we can maybe get some quick runes here. Get run over by snails again for some reason. Yeah, this, this is just easy runes. No reason not to grab easy runes, guys. Bro, these snails are the worst. <laughs> I swear to god, these snails are harder than this boss fight. Like, quote unquote, boss fight. <laughs> just road killing me. Go away, snails. And that's death. Nice. Health and staple, death root, a bit of runes as well. And the snails are still attacking me. Nice, very nice. How much do I need for a level up? Let's go level up first. Then we go fight the earth tree. Get on the horse. I can't shoot sacred blade on the horse. <clears throat> what souls game has your favorite lore? Uh, Dark Souls one. I'm just a big enjoyer of Dark Souls 1 in general. Like, I like the bosses, I like the ambience, I like the gameplay. I like the slower gameplay more of Dark Souls 1 than I like, like for example, the faster gameplay of Elden Ring. I feel like faster gameplay suits itself more to, like, Sekiro than to the original Souls games. We did get the Death Rider, yes. There is a grace in the Avatar, I'll get it. I didn't know there is a grace, actually. This... This one has more simple lore. Yeah, but simple doesn't mean bad. More complicated lore doesn't actually mean more, like, satisfying lore. 
I beat Sekiro like six times. Some, I have no idea how many times I beat Sekiro, but I beat him multiple times. The one thing I really want to do when it comes to like Sekiro is a speedrun. Like an any percent speedrun. Because that's the essence of a Sekiro game. <laughs> Speedrunning is actually so perfect for that game. Like for Sekiro. Like it's just so perfect made. Actually, what a shinobi would actually try to do in a real-life scenario, like get through everything fast, as quickly as possible. Final boss? Uh, that's a good question. Very good question. Final boss favorite Souls game? Hmm. I would say DS3. Soul of Cinder is probably my favorite final boss. the hell is this? This is the Stargazer Ruins or whatever it's called. I think like Solo Cinder is like... Uh, the Souls games have not have never been like super 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 good on like uh, final bosses. They have always been more like better when it comes to like DLC bosses. Like tell me if you agree with that guys. But uh, actually no. What am I saying? Bloodborne. German. German is the best final boss in my opinion. <coughs> in a From Software game. German was actually so fun to fight. If you don't count the Moon Presence, that is. Because Moon Presence is technically the final boss. But she's my she's more like a secret final boss, so I'm just gonna count German first. Okay. Where are the trees? These trees duplicate, so I need to be able to get here. Uh, solid damage output. I can live with that. Oh, what? I didn't dodge that. What is going on with my brain today? Toto, wake up. Fuck up. I'm very, very not in top peak form for Elwin today, it seems. Kill this guy. Uh, the question is, does the clone ever disappear? That is my question right now. Guys, these guys just do such inflated damage. Inflation has hit Elden Ring when it comes to damage off that is. Can't dodge that if I do that. Okay. Put a check mark. They don't, yeah? Okay. Then we're gonna do this very, very sh in a very safe way. He's actually able to dodge that, which is insane. Okay, the other one is shooting. And Miyazaki really has a fetish for like double boss fights for some reason, I don't know why. The saying double is better is not really accurate for these games. Ah, the these guys do such, do such a high amount of damage output. No FP. Wait, they actually get separated. This guy is actually ignoring this guy. What the hell? Didn't know that actually work functions like that. Well, that's fair. And I can't hit him. <laughs> I literally couldn't hit him. The other guy is just ignoring the other guy for some reason right now. Let's hide, return the FP. Did not know you can separate these guys, that's actually insane. Right. Nice. Very nice. Another boss down. Mark of Death. Bubble Tears, 69 plus 20. This six. Earth tree avatar down. Uh, let's go to the other catacomb and then let's finish up the other overworld bosses. I think that's a good idea. We need to go over here. So let's start from here. From did good clones with Pontiff, but this clone is an awful fight. Yeah, they just shoot. The problem is this fight. The the other one is just always gonna shoot the goddamn like uh, holy missiles, which is just annoying to fight against. Why are there so many bosses with fire swords? Because fire swords look goddamn cool, man. That's why. You cannot go. You can never go wrong with a goddamn flaming sword, guys. When you are still spent from German, you're talking about the moon presence. That's actually a good point. 
Though technically, German is not the final boss fight, guys, in Bloodborne. Like, Murgo's Vetners would be actually, I think, have to be considered the final boss fight. Because you don't even need to fight German. That's also a reason why the German is probably my favorite boss fight. You don't need to fight him. You can just accept your death. That is a bold decision in a game, especially in a From Software game, guys. Uh, the, uh, yeah. the Eclipse Shuttle is a... Uh, the Eclipse Shuttle is a scimitar, I think. <laughs> yeah, we need to. I don't remember this cave. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I have no idea what I need to expect here. I've been to this cave like once, I think. I do know the YouTuber Rusty, yeah. He's been doing like a... Uh, a spell, like a spell overhaul mod, right? <coughs> health! We don't need more damage right now, we need more health. We need to get 60 vigor at, in, as soon as possible, man. Fire monks. Okay, we're gonna clear out this area because I have no idea what to expect. It's been like once in this entire area. We maybe get the fire monks outfit, which is very nice. Ah, uh, hitball. Yay. I mean, I tried the convergence mod. I doubt it's better than the convergence mod, so I don't really feel the necessity to try it. I'll check it out, though. Maybe do a short on it. Uh, do I watch Bushy? Yes, from time to time. From time to time. I did watch him at the beginning when he started like doing the Elder Ring challenge runs. But I always kind of go back to my favorite creator. I, I don't I don't have that much time to watch too many YouTube videos, that's the problem. Like, when, when, when you are a creator yourself, like, you don't really have that much time to watch other creators. You have like two or three favorite ones and you watch them. I watch other creators more when I do research on what runs to do and how to do them next. I'm guessing we need to kill these bitches, right? That's what I'm guessing here. Uh, Dogo. Why is he moving so slowly, guys? Why is the Dogo moving so slowly? Takes no damage. This guy takes zero damage, what the hell? What the hell, Mantos? That attack is such... That attack is actually very well designed, but it's so cheeky. It's like such a slow wind-up and then such a quick... Like attack after it. It's insane. I hate these dogs. Or I hate these enemies, I should say that. Don't ever quote somebody that I hate dogs. God damn it! Nice. Barely survived. I have no idea what hit me right there, but whatever. Uh, another one, please. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Elven dog, yeah. I don't hate dogs, guys. I love dogs. I love cats. I love animals in general. This is a bad boy, though. That, that I agree with. And is the fire going out? Never! <laughs> Miyazaki, you and your fucking bullshit, man. I swear to Jesus Christ. How do you piss off a general player base? You put a fire trap that you can't really avoid, and then you put an enemy in the only hiding spot to the fireplace. Miyazaki and his dingus. That's what the next series should be called. Get slapped. He's fire spraying and back. Bye bye. Do you like Jojo's? Do I like Jojo's? Yes, I like Jojo's. Ah, this is the one that actually activates. Ah, I remember this now. I remember this a little bit now. <laughs> I actually, that's kind of true, Elder Beast. Miyazaki would make a fantastic horror game, I think. I mean, he, he kind of accidentally made a horror game, Bloodborne. Bloodborne was actually a pretty scary game for me to play. Right? That's not something I say lightly. 
backstab. Favorite Jojo part is part five. Or part four. That's a that's a toss-up between the two. We don't need to go over here, I think. I should play Elden Ring. Good point. I should. Oh, tops, okay. Part 4 has an awesome vibe. Yeah, I also like the main the, the main villain from Part 4 is probably my favorite villain in the series. Yoshikage Kira. <laughs> Love that villain. I don't uh, don't attack people who ask like questions that you heard before, guys. Like people come here, new people come here all the time, so they always uh, always ask the repeating questions. I also don't mind answering at the end of the day. Okay. Giant. Oh, that's what you get this giant seal. Ah, now I remember everything. Okay. I think I remember everything. Oh, you don't need to kill this guy. I need to read part 8 still. Actually, part 7, excuse me. Time is a bitch. That's all I can tell you guys. Time is a goddamn bitch. I need 27 hours in a day and then I can all the shit at the same time, but I can't do it. Wait, when did everybody when did anybody ask me about taxes, man? <laughs> Couple of people I think did though. Why is that cave confusing? Miyazaki. Where is my lantern? This guy's not going in. I don't want to kill all these dogs. Dio is fun, I agree with that. Dio is Dio is a very, very fun villain, but he's not really a good villain. From a, from a writing perspective, he's kind of like very, very one-dimensional. Tax evasion, that's another thing, yeah. That I can definitely teach you something about. <laughs> Tax evasion is my speciality. Play Lies of P? I've looked a bit of li about Lies of P, but I don't have the time. I still haven't played Timesia, man. Literally. What is it, the Metal Gear Solid ladder? Guys, who do I need to kill to actually activate the lever? There is an enemy I need to kill here to activate the level, right? Somebody needs to die to activate the lever in these caves. Giant? Okay. Ah, okay. Now I get it, Miyazaki. How do we lure you to a light source, though? Where do we lure you to a light source? Down here, maybe? Go back to the elevator. Don't worry, I'll backtrack. No hidden walls, right? Lever beside the circle? What circle? Do we need to act? Guys, just tell me one thing. Is this needed? I don't think this is needed, guys, right? Ah, okay. Ah, okay, so you need to just activate a Ah, okay. Ah, I see, okay. Okay, guys, thank you very much. It's not needed. And then we send the elevator back up, right? And then the light activates. Is that what you're saying? Ah, okay. <laughs> you cheeky bastard Miyazaki. Thank God, okay. I mean, some of the puzzles in these catacombs are not half bad, guys. They're simple, but they are effective. It's not really a puzzle game at the end of the day. Hey, 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 stupid asshole, come over here. Stop sniffing at the ground and come over here, man. How to walk your giant? Step-by-step -step instructions. First, you call him stupid names. Then he follows you. And then he dies. And then he screams. I forgot that part. Giant! You little... 
Come here. Does this work? It doesn't. <laughs> Step into the light. Okay. Now we can just beat them up. Too many giants in the mountaintops of the giants. Wouldn't you agree, guys? We need to lessen them. Actually, I'm kind of glad that... The Actually, I'm kind of glad that Gotri has reduced the giant population before we actually got here. It would be way too annoying to fight multiple giants. That would definitely be very annoying. Giants are not really a good fight in these games. You basically chop at their legs for like hours and then, and then they die. Though From Software has gone, has gotten progressively better with actually making giant boss fights in these games. Then I can give them, and there is the door. These are trolls. Same thing, though. Then Kim is what's up. There is an incantation that unshadows them, really? Didn't know that. Interesting. <laughs> I circumcised them, yeah. The castrator. The dragon castrator, guys. And there is thankfully a snake of America here. I'm very happy man now. I don't think there is a incantation that can actually reveal them. I don't think that exists. And they're definitely very good for fighting this game, but I'm I'm talking about my experiences from DS2. DS2 had horrible giant boss fights. Are you easy? Yes! And you're actually kind of dead because you're doing absurd amounts of damage with the setup currently right now. Why Sacred Play this powerful, guys? What the hell? At this point, we're doing an Ash of War, Ash of War only run, guys. I mean, this guy doesn't have a lot of trouble. Die! 69 plus 27. And there's armor set to boot. Nice. Uh, that's Ancient Hero of Zamor. Very nice. 69 plus 27. Bam! There we go. How can I play the Ascendant mode without a computer? Uh, you can't. I'm sorry, but you can't. Fire Giant Phase 2 does suck, yeah. He's a little bit too bullshit. <laughs> you cannot be... This is actually a DBZ abridged quote, Antonio. You cannot be a racist towards a race that doesn't exist. <laughs> that is my favorite quote for Dragon Ball abridged. Oh my god. Frieza quotes from Dragon Ball abridged are the best thing ever. Oh, okay. God damn it, that, that's the best quote ever, man. Uh, Godskin, Commander Borealis. Let's go for to Commander Nial. Have I killed Mo? Nope. We haven't actually gone into the Mogan Palace yet. We're gonna do that at the end. Like, those bosses are all left for the end. The more bosses I can leave for the end, the better. Uh, because we're gonna have access to, like, all the things that we need. If you haven't watched Dragon Ball Abridged, guys, I sincerely recommend that to you. That is the funniest shit ever. Uh, Lean. Thanks for the income. Thanks for the support production. I should try dagger builds. Your comedy is very weird, Hudson. Or health, please. Thank you. Mr. Popo is unhinged. Yeah, that's his point. Popo is supposed to be unhinged. It's probably the single most funniest. Yeah, I agree. I cannot be a racist towards a race that doesn't exist. <laughs> like, first time I saw Frieza, when, they, when the first episodes were actually released about Frieza, about Dra Dragon Ball Abridged, that was literally the funniest shit I've ever seen in my life. There is ER Abridged, there has to be a joke, right? There's no way there is ER Abridged. When you're done with the whole run, can you upload every vod while does the dagger run? Uh, every vod is live on the YouTube channel, man. Just go into the channel, go to the live section, and you'll see every vod. Uh, th these vods are going to be left all on the main channel. And I'm gonna get fucked in the ass by a frostbite knight. Uh, run away. Uh, run away. Thank you. Bye-bye. 
activate shortcut. There is not a stake of America here, right? Please tell me there's a stake of America in this place. There is no way I'm killing this boss fight first try, and of course there is no stake of America in this place. Of course. Let's try it. How do we deal with the knights? That is actually a really big problem right now. The daggers don't have a like a damage burst that can deal with these knights effectively, but maybe destined death. Destined death is a good way to deal with the knights. No need to worry, Tom. Destined death is always at your side. Oh, I need to exterminate these guys as soon as possible. Jump and fire. And sacred blade for the buff. And GG. And what? That attack is so weird. It doesn't it doesn't make any sense animation-wise. So weird. Okay, let's death and death this guy first, and then we're gonna fight him. I do want to fight him up close. I think it's gonna be overall easier to do. When he does this, we can actually punish this. Then he does this, and then he doesn't jump. Now we jump, right? Whoop. We can hit. We can dodge. Then we need to slice and dice. And then we need to get hit by an absolute feet attack. And can we avoid this? What is that range? Oh, what the hell? Commander, calm yourself. And then he takes a break. Good to know. We punish this. We fail to dodge that because I suck at this boss fight. For obvious reasons. I've been chasing this boss fight since the beginning of the game. So there's an obvious reason why I suck at this boss fight. He can back backfist me. Nice. Interesting. Yeah, very, very, very much suck at this boss fight, guys. Very much. The Ascended mode is remaining. Don't worry, Jirai. I know. I will complete the Ascended mode in the future, though. He's easy with parries? I doubt that. Wait, can you parry this guy, guys? If you can parry, I might try that, but that will take a bit of practice, though. Yeah, Commander Nial actually has a very interesting moveset, like lightning, ice lightning, beating you up with his feet. Imagine if we could actually play like that. Uh, yes, I do plan DS3 bits, don't worry. I plan all the Souls games. Like I said, for those of you who don't know, like I have a list of ideas that I want to do. Feet attacks makes me tingle. I've heard rumors about DLC weapons, guys. Miyazaki is uh, apparently planning on feet weapons in the DLC. I said it multiple times, but I'm gonna say it again. Imagine feet weapons in the DLC. Ah, uh, because of the knights, Dina, that's why. And also, I'm lazy. I d if I don't need to fight something, I won't. Like, I always choose the path of least resistance. Oh, my neck hurts from BJJ. I always choose the path of least resistance, Dina, that's why. But he is kind of like a nice boss fight. He has a cool moveset one on one. A die. The knights, though, are very annoying. Look at the moveset of the knights. Bro, the knights are actually having a boss moveset, man. I swear to god. The knights could be bosses in themselves. No problem. Literally no problem for the knights to be bosses. Okay, let's prepare. First, we descend there. Then we do this. Then we refill this. And then we fight this guy. Then we get hit. Then we dodge. Attack. Dodge. Attack. We just roll away because this hitbox is insanely huge. It takes the entire arena, guys. Isn't that a little bit overkill, guys? Taking the entire arena. Now he takes a break. Okay, though, it does have, like, the break animation, so I'm fine with that attack. Now that I think about it. We're gonna test death off of this. Okay, I learned your attack patterns. Now you're nothing to me. And you dodge that. Jump and run away. Death in death. Bam. 
And how did I not dodge that? Ah, because I suck. That's why. I've played this game so many times, I've done so many different runs with different builds, and I still suck at this game. The skill ceiling for this game to actually be like super, super good is huge, guys. Like for these games, I should say. Even though you're fighting technically the same bosses over and over again, you can always fight them better. That's insane. You can always fight bosses better, you can always take less hits. You can always kill the faster and like... Die. Nice. Try dodging, probably a good idea. Outplayed, let's go grab the medallion. Why not eliminate just the two swords? Because uh, why not eliminate the knights if you can? You can always be thinner, look better, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 69 plus 28. Commander Nial dead. It's, take, it's taking me longer. It's taking me longer to clear out just the mountaintops here than it took me to clear out the entirety of Altus Plateau, guys. How is that even possible? That's how much harder these bosses are. Alright, the only two are left are Borealis and the Godskins, and both of them are horrible. God damn it. How did I decide the name of my channel? Type exclamation mark Toto. <laughs> there is no exclamation mark Gino. Fifty health. Pop this soul, we don't need it. We can always pop it back later if we need. A bit more runes. Can I beat Elrun without moving? Pretty sure that's impossible. That sounds quite impossible. Uh, I do need a rune arc, but we'll get that later on. Alright. Smile for the boys, what? Did I actually mark the guy? 28, nice, okay. Uh, we didn't kill Radan, yeah. We haven't been to Kaled yet. We'll go to Kaled after the mountaintops. Like, after we killed Borealis and uh, Godskins. And then we're just gonna obliterate Radan, actually. Like, Kaled is... Like, the beginning of Kaled is gonna be very, very easy for us, guys. Which was planned. That's calculated. Where are you, Borealis? There you are, you son of a gun. I can't see anything. Who thought a boss fight is going to be good if I can't see it, guys? Why can't I... Miyazaki, please, just stop doing the frigid outskirts shit. Like, we don't need more frigid outskirts. How do you even know this guy? That's not a damage joke. He does damage with his... I'm learning new things all the time, it seems. Slice and dice. Yeah, that's absolutely horrible fight. I think this is another case of death and death, guys. Because he's just running away for some reason. Is Torrent fast enough? That's the question. Are you Torrent fast enough? Please hit head. Oh, thank God. How do you even dodge this? Okay, that's how we dodge this. <laughs> that was actually surprisingly easy. This is another case of death and death, boys. The dragons are vicious beings. The hell is that attack, man? What the fuck? Borealis, what the hell is that? Again, I don't fight these guys often, so... Don't blame my suckiness. Ezekis is worse? Probably, yeah. I fought Ezekis more than I fought Borealis, and I can definitely guarantee that Ezekis is worse. Ezekis is just horrible. Like, these bo- like, the thing is, I- oh, no, 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 this. Okay. I know Gino has complained about this boss fight quite a bit, because he has some weird hitboxes in some attacks. On some of his ground frostbite attacks. Ah, oh, not this bullshit. What are you, goddamn Tigrex from Monster Hunter? 
that your screams do damage. Run, roll, 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 roll. Bro, this is Tigerx. This is the Tigerx fight all over again. He's just screaming and damaging me. Actually, he was that hard, though. That was nowhere near me, man, though. That gives you frostbite to your death, it seems so, yeah. It does seem so. Thankfully, he has so much but We have so much versatility with our current build that I'm not really worried about anything. Like, if you ever see an opening that we can't get close to, we just pull out the dagger. And another boss down. Let's go, boys. Bam! 69 plus 29. Let's go. Shame I can't actually sell the dragon hearts, though. That would be quite nice. Boreal is dead. Let's go to the cave. Azikis has less health, I think, guys. That's why it's going to be easier. Get the dragon eyes? Probably a good idea, actually. Dragon eyes are cool. Nice. Mystic Fistic, what's up? It is a wyvern. In this game, they are called dragons, but yeah, if you're gonna go for like historically th historical things, yeah, then yeah, they're wyverns, yeah. Tigrex as well, also a wyvern. Mountaintops then Kaled, yeah. The reason why we're doing Mountaintops then Kaled is because uh, I'm doing the entirety of Kaled, so Dragon Barrow is included in that place. And Dragon Barrow is much more, much more harder. And now we go for the first budget Godskin fight. Budget God, uh, budget Godskin fight incoming, guys. Today I really can't talk English, guys. My speech has been impaired. <clears throat> okay, over here. What's my favorite weapon type? Oh, uh, great swords, I think. But halberds I really enjoyed in this game. I'm a man of big swords. That's what I really like. <coughs> No, Mount Gelmir is uh, kept for later, because Raikard. I would have done Mount Gelmir sooner, but we can't kill Raikard that easily, though. Let's go, you bastards. Destined Death against more powerful Destined. I forgot this guy dodges. For some reason, I always forget this guy has the ability to dodge. Effects. It's almost like they wanted to prepare you for the Godskin blow, and then I'm dead. Oh... I hate these guys, guys. I hate these guys. Serpent Hunter is not allowed, yeah. We have to kill Raikard with daggers. Okay, lesson one. Don't try to shoot the Godskins. Yeah, the Gargoyle in Dragon Battle is what I'm most afraid of, honestly. That guy's an absolute beast. Raikard is easy with Frostbite, yeah, but the thing is, you still need to be a little bit... I'm The more I'm prepared, Raikard is the highest health pool when you fight him, like, without uh, the Serpent Hunter. Oh, yeah, the Talisman is by uh, this... Actually, no. Uh, daggers are completely trash against Raikard because you're not going to be able to hit him. The only way to hit Raikard is going to be Ashes of War and Death and Death. But the Godskin Swaddling Cough is actually going to be a little bit useful here. I was thinking about making a, like, a regeneration build with this setup, but it's actually more worth to just spec into pure damage. Let's buff the weapon. Dodge. How did we both miss? No, seriously. How did we both miss again? I mean, this, this is also preparation for the Godskin fight in uh, Kaled, so... Bro, this guy's insane. I find this guy to be much more harder one-on-one -on -one than the... than the Noble. This guy has very, very long chain of attacks. And they're very confusing with this, like, weird long body. That's the death. 
heal. Team both missed again, okay. Apparently that's just something that you're always going to miss. Destin death. My destined death is much better than yours, man. That missed! Oh my god, that was insane. Nice. One down. Next one, please. Anime fight again, yeah. Like, half of these bosses to the side are anime fights, guys. And this is like the most stupid shit he could have done at the beginning. I'll thank that. Thank you. Dodge. Let's heal first. Let's not overcommit on anything if you don't need to. Dagger attack. Another dagger attack. I find this guy to be much easier one on one. I think that's what, that's what's intended actually. Double dagger attack and roll away. And heal. Not what I want to do. Wrong button press, but whatever. Now he's gonna roll around the arena, isn't he? This is the hard part. This is the absolute hardest part. I hate this attack so much. Oh! Oh! When does it stop, man, for the love of God? Oh, oh, oh. Nope. That's a biggie one. Dagger, dagger, dagger. Best in death. The flow of the fight is very nice for daggers, though. No, come on, that's bullshit. Some attacks are just annoying. Some attacks I would just literally remove from the game. Like that one. That attack serves no purpose. Die! Where is the snail? Where is the snail? There you are, you little son of a bitch. You are not seeing the light of day ever again. Get stomach, yeah. Black Flame Ritual, nice. Very, very nice. Let's go to Caleb, boys. We have one hour to actually just mow through Caleb right now. Beautiful. The entirety of the mountaintops and the Forbidden Lands are done. Now we just need to clear out Caleb, guys. Kelly has a Kelly is the last section where we have a lot of bosses to clear out. Uh 69 plus 30, right? I'm new to this what? This is a dagger stream. If you're not familiar with the rules, guys, type exclamation mark rules. Uh I did a guts great soul build. It's my first build that I did in the game. <laughs> Uh, because immediately when I found the greatsword in, the, in, in Caleb, like, I decided immediately to use it. Let's mark these two guys. Yeah, complete the trees, yeah. Caleb time! Let's go. Only 66 more to go, yeah. We'll finish it probably next week. Or, ne or the week after that, probably. I think next week we're just gonna go, gonna do the enemy item and fog gate rando and uh, finish up the dagger run. I didn't do Electo in Leonia. I can't get to Electo, man. What the hell? I, I can't get to them. Like, I would need to go to Lake of Rot and things like that. And I need to defeat Radan for that. Like, that area is just left for later. Uh, what's UFC 90? I forgot. Uh, two, 290, excuse me. I forgot who was actually even fighting there. Remind me, is it uh, Volkanovski against somebody? I forgot. Uh, Duck, thank you very much for liking the videos, man. Glad you enjoyed them, guys. All right, let's go grab the the thing that we need to upgrade our setup, guys. Uh, we need the red main blade, whatever it's called. Moonlight Artel is different, yeah. I mean, it's technically part of Leonia, but we can't go to it immediately, so it's not really part of Leonia. Then. I mean, we can get Gorang's dagger, but it's not gonna do much. Let's go finish setup, boys. Let's grab this talisman, which is gonna be quite nice. Uh, thanks, Chesner. Glad you like the videos, man. I'm so happy, guys. I'm so happy that I actually have an audience that likes what I'm creating. That's I can't describe you the, the feeling of happiness that gives you. 
Even it's not a big audience, like, it's just wonderful. It's all bosses, yeah. Just type exclamation mark run, Crawford. Exclamation mark run for the... For the rules. Uh, Zep, Zep Chef, go watch the previous, the last, latest video that I uploaded. If you want to know the answer to that uh, question, or that request. Go watch the video and read the last, read the, read the pinned comment. Anastasia, you need to stop. I will just press L1 until you die, Anastasia. We do. We need Millicent, boys. Okay, we have a quest here right now, guys. Let's grab the map. Let's go grab uh, Crack Blade. Let's go grab the Flame Shroud and Crack Tear. Let's go grab so many things. Let's go delete the tree over here, actually. What's my favorite weapon? No of Souls? I don't have one. I do not have one. There's so many weapons in the Souls games. Hello, you stupid tree. You get deleted today. Cute little... Ah, Volk versus Rodriguez. Yeah, I knew it was Volk, but I forgot who is fighting. I'm voting for Vol Volk, of course. I think Volk is one of the best fighters currently in the UFC. These idiots are following me. Nice. Jump. Run around. Slap his cheeks. And he's dead. Beautiful. Yeah, we are overleveled for them, yeah. For the first part of Caleb, we are overleveled, that's true. But... Nothing wrong with that. You're gonna be overleveled for some areas if you do a region lock at the end of the day. I got for Moreno and Pantoja, Moreno. Moreno, 100%. No, 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 we're gonna go now like, finish the setup right now. We need so many things now in Caleb. There's so many things we need in Caleb. We need to kill... We need, we need to kill Millicent first. We need to kill Millicent first, but we need a map as well. Uh, where the hell is the map in? Just go right over here. 31 plus 1, thank you. And we killed now... That's the putrid uh, avatar, right? Is that East Caled or West Caled? I have no idea. Bro, is this East Caled or West Caled? This is West Caled. I think. It doesn't matter. Least favorite soul boss? Oh, Bed of Chaos. Bed of Chaos is just annoying. I didn't start Rani's questline. No idea. You can just go to Rani after you kill like uh, Radan. Like Rani's questline is not going anywhere. Do you see this month is insane, yeah. I'm gonna be very happy when I pirate the <laughs> when I go to the pirated streams for the UFC. <laughs> I will not pay a dime to UFC, but I will watch pretty much every fight. Bro, Bed of Chaos is not good in any game, man. Bed of Chaos is just a horrible boss fight. Kill Grail legitimately? Grail is not a boss fight. I don't need to kill Grail. But I could. Did not kill Alexander. We are gonna kill Alexander at the end. Uh, because then we get the best talisman we can. Free runes? Yeah, that's true. Guys, where is the, the wet blade that loves fire infusion? Is it in Red Main Castle or is it over here in this castle? I forgot. I'm gonna have to Google it. I forgot what the Red Main, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, you need to do Rani's questline for Munatata. We're gonna do Rani's questline either way because we need to fight 40 sacks. So don't worry, Rani's questline will be done. Uh, the map, the map, the map. Right down. Witcher music is relaxing, yeah, I agree. It's so relaxing to play one of these games and just have like very, very good music in the background as well. Let's go, let's go just kill Ovi. Ovi. Starting to speak Croatian today. Let's go kill Millicent first. Because she's gonna give us the talisman, the other talisman that we need. I 
I have not played... Uh, this is going to be a wild thing that I'm gonna say, guys. But I have not played either GTA 5 or Red Dead 2. I need to play both of those games, but I don't have the time. Uh, thanks for watching, 8 boss. I know both of these games are so goddamn awesome, guys, but I don't have the time to play them. The society is gonna hate me. I hate myself for that, honestly. Those are some of the best games ever created, probably. Best protagonist in game. Oof. It's a very, very hard question. Do you know how many games did even exist, man? I doubt you can actually give you an answer to that. Let's actually go by Craigley first. Champion Pauldron is also a nice outfit, I'll buy it. The problem is I haven't actually played Red Dead 1 as well, guys, because I never had a PS3. Tales of Principles? Ah, you mean that, that OST. That OST is also very nice. Let's grab Ragblade. There are no good guys in games? I disagree with that. I know R uh, RDR2 is a prequel, but still, haven't played even that game. When I, when, I, when I now realize how many games I haven't played, and then I still have those days when I feel like I have nothing else to play, guys. The, isn't that just the funniest thing ever? Like, I literally have days when I feel like I have no games to play, and then I haven't played like 10 most important games in the world. Like, what? Like, Toto, wake the fuck up. <laughs> GSP is coming back to competing grappling? Really? Didn't see that. I don't have a Switch, no. I don't have a PS5, I don't have a Switch. I'm a poor Croatian man. Very poor Croatian, we don't have anything. Dead. Crackblade. First upgrade, let's go Millicent Prosthesis next. Let's go grab Millicent's Prosthesis, then we go beat up Radar. Uh, grab the Wet Blade. Uh, that, this PC has been a gift from my parents, basically. They helped me out in the beginning. I did not actually buy the PC myself. Oh, did I kill the tree? I didn't kill the tree, let's mark that. Let's go to Celia. Uh, let's actually go kill Commander this. Goat parents, yeah, they're very nice. He turns blind. Oh, that's actually a nice thing, bot the gamer. If he's actually gonna compete against like former UFC fighters, it's actually really, really good. It's gonna be give publicity to the BGJ sport, which is nice. The more popularity BJJ gets, the happier I am, honestly. It really is a fun sport. Parents buff. You can play cope, friends. You mean you have the seamless mode? You mean seamless cope is right, but I'm not sure if you can play it if you crack the game. Favorite sport? Ah, uh, yeah. MM I, I would say that MMA is my favorite sport. Yeah, I would definitely say that. That's, that's really the only sport that I honestly watch. I, for some reason, I don't have the attention span for other, uh, other like, uh, sports. Like, soccer just takes way too long. Basketball is okay. Uh, like, I, I used to train, I used to play tennis when I was, when I was younger. Um, uh, but, mm, kind of, like, phased out a bit at the end of the day. I'm not really a car guy. I like motorcycles, I don't really like cars. Like, I, I, if, if I can, I will never buy a car in my life. Cars are just way too expensive. Baseball. Never watched a baseball game in my life. It's not really a thing here in Croatia. Soccer takes way too long. Okay, football takes way too long. Sorry, guys. It's called soccer, like, for the majority of, like, uh, the American audience, so I'm calling it soccer, but we call it here football, yeah. Pick the worst. Why is the why is swimming the worst sport? It doesn't sound like a bad sport to me. Commander Nial! 
or Neil or Neil? I don't know. I don't know your name and I don't care. You're gonna die. Death has come to you in the form of two daggers. Why is there no friendly fire between you idiots? Make my life so much easier. Scarlet Rip again. Also no scratch. Destined death. Destined death. And destined death. Bye bye. Bye bye. And goodbye boys. Better boys down. Swimming is actually very helpful for your body. Yeah, I agree. Like, every time I go for a swim, like in my hometown, I feel like rejuvenated. Like, I don't feel the same person after that. Uh, 32, Commander O'Neill. Very nice. Now we go to this idiot. Let me try a speedrun skip here, guys. Can I be a pet duck? Yes, you can be the stream chat's pet duck. No problem. Ah, no, we've not used the button. Hardest boss non-story, death ride birds. I don't think there is an argument there. Death ride birds should be like final bosses, guys. Extend or not, what's up? Haven't seen you in a while, man. There is a speedrun skip here that I want to try, but it's very, very hard to pull off, actually, guys. But I'll try it anyways. <laughs> Don't worry, Extender. We're doing, we're doing quite well. Our build is pretty much getting to the end phases right now. Are there even ducks in the game, Redneck? Honestly. Okay, the skip goes like this. Oh, this is this is the this is the distortion ruined my life skip. It's not this actually. Oh, this is actually quite easy. What? This is actually surprisingly easy. What? Looks easier than it is. Do you know, guys, that there is seriously a skip called distortion ruined my life? It's a skip in the in the Landell city actually. Speedrunners have called the skip distortion to ruin my life because. The guy found it and then everybody had to use it. <laughs> then everybody's hating it. <laughs> it's actually a very, very, very precise jump. Jesus. How does anybody get to do this? <laughs> I actually almost did it. Try it one more time to see if I can get it down, but. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna practice it right now. Try it one more time because I almost did it. <laughs> it seems to be something I can get good at at least if I practice a little bit here. Whoa! Almost. Okay. Let's not waste our time here. Let's just go the normal intended human way. And not the distortion ruin my life way. If there is a way harder kind of death right bird, I would like that better than the enemies. That's what I was saying. Like, just give the death right birds like 20k more HP and you're gonna have a hell of a boss fight, man. I have a hell of a boss fight that you have to actually have to learn to fight. Not saying that the yellow beast doesn't need to be learned to fight, but. <clears throat> First try, no hit Malekith. Bro, do you know how many times I no-hit Malekith in my life? Like, I, I think I no-hit Malekith like hundreds of times at this point because of practicing for a no-hit run. Malekith needed to be no-hit like forever. You'll see when we continue the no-damage run, though, how that actually functions. No-hitting Malekith is quite easy, though. If you, if, you miss the, if you miss the first attempt, though, then it's a little bit different, though. You're making me miss the Witcher. I miss the Witcher every single day, Christian. Trust me. Yeah, for training for the no damage run, guys. That's why you need to know hit Malekith. Uh, 
Uh, I know fused that the raptor talons are considered claws. I'm not. I'm not saying like you need to put like literally the death right bird like into the final boss fight. I'm just saying like take take what you take what you did with the death right bird and create a final boss fight from that, rather than having the Elden fish. I think we can, guys. Can we agree that the Elden fish is not a good final boss fight? It's, he's really annoying to fight sometimes. Sometimes he behaves, but in my experience, mo Elden Whale, yeah, most of the times he's actually just kind of boring to fight. Like Radagon, uh, if Radagon was more powerful, he, he would be much better of a final boss fight, in my opinion. Radagon is a good boss fight, yeah. Radagon is definitely a good boss fight. He's vicious, he's fast, he's unpredictable, he's fair, unlike Melania. Second phase Radagon let... Why is, why is second phase Radagon not Marika, guys? Imagine the final boss fight, first fight Radagon, then you fight Marika. That would be... So funny and so good, I think. Just give all the insane attacks that Elden, Be Elden Beast has to Marika and combine it with the Radagon moveset. Then you have a fantastic boss fight. I should have been designing this game. Favorite NPC, Alexander. Of course. Alexander. And if you're wondering how we got into Leandel, we used the runes to precipice. Because we couldn't get a medallion. Okay, the teleports are the only bad thing about Radagon, yeah, okay. Yeah, but they can change. They can change one into one another. But I guess what you mean, hot sensor. <laughs> Gender change effect. <laughs> More smithing stones, very nice. Uh, the bust, what's up, are you today? The teleport stun lock is a little bit annoying, yeah. It's dodgeable, but it's very, very hard to dodge. Like, if something is hard to dodge at that point, it needs to be think thought about if it should be in the game. There are some of Margaret attacks that I would also remove from the game. How much longer are we here? Oh, uh, we'll see. I have to go at 7 o'clock somewhere. So we're probably gonna be continuing with this run for like maybe an hour more. Millicent. To get the Millicent's prosthesis, I need to clear her questline a bit. Well, my flesh, a uh, da, 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 da. Okay, let's go down there to G Gauri. Uh, no, we're not trying a new build for uh, Kaled. We're trying a new build for Mount Gelmir. That's going to be intelligence build. In Kaled, we are finishing our build. That's what I was saying. We, we, we played with that bleed build up up until Altus Plateau and Altus Plateau a little bit included. Then we switched to a faith build. For Mount Gelmi, we we're gonna switch to an intelligence build. And then we're gonna go back to the faith build. That's basically the idea. Uh, here the quest, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, yes, yes. Wait, what? Can you give me some oh, we need to go more time. Just quit out. What happened to int build? It's gonna happen, don't worry, but we need to do it for Mount Gelmir. Uh, we're gonna be using the Glintstone Chris. That's what the dagger is called. And then just an offhand dagger for like more, for like the power sensing. There is kind of like a dagger with like Comet attack, not Comet Azur. Celia's questline, yeah. Gauri's questline, basically. Did I pick up the prosthesis? I think I did. Yeah, the Pebble Ash, but the, the Pebble on the Glintstone Chris is insanely powerful. It's actually really, really busted. It does like 4k damage. Fully charged, I mean. We can make a decent build around the dagger as well. Plus, we're gonna have a build with the Frostbite enemies, which is good. I need to buy the PS5. The loading times on the PS4 are abominable. Did I grab prosthesis? 
or the veterans prosthesis, excuse me, not Millicent's. Valkyrie's prosthesis, there we go. Back. Uh, I don't want the crystal knife because I think the crystal knife can't be infused, man. I need an infusion for frostbite. Twin bird. Sounds nice. Uh, you... You need to defeat. Didn't I get Millicent's prosthesis sooner? We did defeat the Apostle at Vindel, don't worry about that. We did defeat the Apostle, the apostle at Windmill, because we already cleared Alphas. I'll check now how to actually get everything that I need. I know she needs to go, though. Now she goes. Now we go down to Gauri, talk to her there. Uh, it's my favorite summon aside, Mimic and Black Knife. I don't like either of those summons, to be honest. I don't like summon... Oh, I don't accept that death. I don't like to use summon, so I don't have a favorite summon, man. I know the Twin Bird is a, um, like an out god, but that would actually be a cool boss fight, yeah. Maybe you'll see those boss fights in the DLC, guys. You never know. You never know. Could happen. <laughs> would not consider myself a chap. Yeah, most OP thing is Mimic Theory, yeah, let's be honest. Mimic Theory is just busted. Like, I don't know why they put that into the game, honestly. I, I see this, I, I... Spirit summoning is cool. But Mimic Tier, really in From Software? That is, th that's not something that should have been put into the game, in my opinion. It's boring, that's the thing. The Mimic Tier is boring, in my opinion. Can I get Moderator? Uh, sorry, no. <laughs> I choose Moderators. You can't choose yourself. Also, I currently don't need any more Moderators. The chat is not that big, so I'd need like 15 moderators. I must stay strong, stay strong, my woman. Collar the dog, nice. Chat is full of nice people? Yes, because I banned all the, the insane ones. <laughs> that is why chat is good. That, that, the reason why chat is full of nice people is because I banned people in the past. If I didn't do that, the chat would not be full of nice people, trust me. Uh, Commander Neal is dead. Let me actually check Millicent's prosthesis. When do we get it? Okay. We need to, we to kill her at the windmill heights. Blah, whatever it's called. Talk to her here. I never notice any psychos, they get banned very quickly. <laughs> also, you're not every you're not every stream here, so. Who doesn't like strong women, Benjamin? Honestly. Yeah, if you want to get pest threads, you can kill her here. But if you want to get uh, if you want to get Millicent, you need to kill her at the windmill site of Grace. So we now go over here, windmill heights. There is no special roles duck for, like, uh, YouTube, unfortunately. Twitch has, like, VIP roles. Special roles you can only get for, like, if you buy the membership on the channel. I never actually promote it, but if you want to support the channel more, you can just buy the membership for, like, I think it's 2 euros here. I think I made it like that. If you can, of course. Don't, don't feel obliged. Uh, Millicent, I'm sorry, but you need to die. <laughs> I mean... Technically, stream chat is always the VIPs. You're like the most dedicated part of the audience. One euro a month, yeah. I made it as cheap as, as possible, basically, because I don't want you. If you want to support, I don't want you. I don't want, to, I don't want you to feel. I don't want you to guys feel like you need to pay a lot. Like one euro is enough. All right. This is my first time here, though. How ah, what you mean, Daniel? Also. Welcome to the chat. Okay, Millicent's prosthesis, nice. Uh, there. How, how does this push me over to heavy load? Okay, Miyazaki. 
Now, these two things stack. Which means we're gonna be doing absolutely insane damage when we actually uh, pop in everything that we have. But first, let's go kill Radan. Yes, I played Skyrim multiple times. Who hasn't played Skyrim, guys, honestly? Godwin? Godwin would be a nice boss fight in the DLC. That I can definitely see. How did you like the game so far, Benjamin? Are my jokes good? Yeah, they're decent, Hatsenzo. I'm not gonna tell you that they're good, but they're decent. They're not throwing out in the trash bag. Fighting a dragon in the DLC. You fought like 15 dragons in this game. Why do you need more dragons in the DLC? How many dragons are even in this game, guys? It's like 20 of them. 40 sacks plus Siege sacks, Lancey sacks, and then like 10 other dragons. Too many, yeah. There is a region lock rule, yeah. There is a. Yeah, we cleared out Limgrave first, then Lyurnia, then Altus, then Mountaintops, then we're back at Caleb. I know Placidian Sack is technically not a dragon, but let's be honest, he's a dragon. For all purposes, he's a dragon. Now, what's up? Radagon is going to die. He like stands a no chance. Do I have more damaging talisman here? <laughs> Sacred Scorpion Charm. Let's go absolutely destroy his ass. Obviously no summoning is allowed. That's what I was actually suspecting, uh, Vastro. Uh, I, was, I was expecting Millicent, like Malenia and Mikola at the same time as a boss fight. That would not be fun. <laughs> I don't want to fight Malenia with another boss fight in their room. I don't want that. Yo, DS3 has the best Wyvern boss fight. You just jump on his head and he's dead. Best Wyvern boss fight, the ancient Wyvern. Best Wyvern boss fight in any game ever. I'm joking, of course. It's the worst boss fight. All right. I mean, if you count Magma Verns, yeah, they have way too many dragons. My favorite TV show is Breaking Bad. <laughs> and also, this guy stands no chance. Radan is just dead now. He disappeared way too quickly, but whatever. <laughs> Let's try to get him come closer to me. Motherfucking stupid ass boss fight. If I can just change one thing about Radan, is the beginning of the goddamn boss fight. It's such bad. I know it's a cool gimmick the first time you come in here when summoning and everything, but after that it's just annoying. Wait, what? Why are you pulling out the bow again? For some reason he loaded in way too slow. And now he's just spamming with god and arrows and I'm not taking it. I'm not taking this abuse, Radan, go away. Ain't beat able to Sekiro yet? We'll, we'll beat Sekiro in, in time, don't worry. Guys, a uh, quick break. I'll be back in a minute.
All right, let's beat the general. Ugh, getting a little bit tired. I figured out what the reason was for my like uh, very bad sleep the past couple of weeks. It was a lack of training. Literally, after the BJJ session, I was sleeping like a goddamn child. After the BJJ session, I was sleeping like a child because I was utterly exhausted. So yeah, if you're having trouble sleeping, maybe go work out. Before we begin. The ogre is just wrestling you and throwing you off the ledge. Yeah. I don't do bench, duck. I haven't done bench in like years, so I have no idea. The highest bench I ever gotten was 120 kilo. 120. But not right now I could probably barely do like 100. If that. Should I make an ending in the final boss for the DLC? You do whatever you want, man. I'm not actually that strong. Like uh, when I go to my when I go to my uh, practice for BJJ, I'm probably one of the weaker people there. Honestly, there's way too many monsters in that room. I love how there are messages on the goddamn water for no reason. And he's ah oh my god, fucking PlayStation Four! I swear to God. Oh, it worked nice. Should I travel to Grey Shop? If you have the money? Sure. Okay, we bait out the lunge attack and then we just go into his legs. Come on, Radan, let's go! We don't have all day. Bad attack. I need you to lunge. I need you to lunge. That's what you need. That's what I needed to do, man. That's exactly what I needed to do. Oh, frame rate destruction! Frame rate destruction, Radan! Frame rate destruction, Radan, guys. Okay, he's almost dead. Absolute Lord Two Shanks, guys. Absolute Lord Two Shanks. Where are you, my general? Get your ass down here. Slice. Slice and dice. Good fighter, man. See you in hell. <laughs> I've barely seen two attacks from this guy. Nice. Very nice. That went perfect, Ajax. Perfect. Croatia currently is a little bit too expensive, so I don't recommend traveling here, but if you have the money and time, sure. Croatia is a very good vacation place. Oh, Radan, 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 Starskush Radan. Nice. Oh, the damage is not even good yet, Lucas. Like, we need more damage. Currently, we are not doing enough damage. Not even enough yet. There is also another boss fight here which you can knock out immediately, actually. Probably a good idea. Uh, fake. Uh, there. How do I get to Gargoyles? Uh, you go through Nocron, basically. I don't, I don't even know what types of cats are. Like, I never actually learned about the breeds of cats. Like, the only cats that I had in my life are the cats I rescued from the streets, literally. Like, the first cat, the first cat I had, I rescued, she got run over by a car because she was an outside cat at the end of the day. And the second cat that I rescued, uh, like, she was, she followed me back from school in my hometown. Uh, I still have her to this day. She's, like, 17 years old. Very cute story. Ah, it happens, man. You can't do anything about it. Outside cats are outside cats. F's in the chat for the run over cat, guys. Running over cats is never a good thing. <laughs> Still remember the cat. It was one of the best cats I had. Brave 
Thanks for the support. <laughs> that was a long time ago, though, guys. I'm way over it right now. That was a long... I was like... 10 years old when it happened. I think. And when the cat... current The, the current cat that I rescued, actually, had kittens, we all sent them off to, like, very, very nice homes. Alright. More boss fights. It's okay to cry. The guy who cried the most was actually my father. He's very, very attached to animals. Oh, this is not even a boss fight. This is a slaughter. This is not even a boss fight. This is literally a slaughter. What do you have for me? Nothing. Bro, you have nothing. Oh, Lord Two Shanks is starting to take shape, guys. Lord Two Shanks is starting to take shape. Oh, yes, baby. Absolute obliteration is coming for the bosses. Uh, not gonna die here. Not accepting death here. Oh, and then. These two as a boss fight are kind of a cool concept. Yeah, I agree. Another boss down. Two bosses down, actually. Uh, he's called... Crucible Knight and Misbegotten Warrior 69 plus 34. Beautiful. Alright. Where is the dagger? The, the thing that lets me actually make a uh, fire infusion, guys. And they're not actually that random. Like, one of them is Rad Radagon uh, inspired, the other one is Radan. Actually, Godfrey inspired. I don't think they're actually that random. It's in the catacombs? Really? There's no way. No shot. It has to be in Redman Castle. I'm gonna look it up. I'm pretty sure it's somewhere in Redman Castle. I am pretty sure, but I'm not 100% sure. No, 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 no bloody slash anymore. We use bloody slash way too much. Ah! And we immediately find it, guys. We immediately got them find it. No need to worry. Beautiful. Okay, uh... Fire Scorpion Charm, we get that later. What am I missing here? I feel like I'm missing... I've missed the crack blade. Let's go actually put crack blade on these guys. Now you have access to the Chris, yeah. Ooh, catacombs, yeah, okay. The catacombs does have a boss fight, right, guys? Let me actually do some stationary boss fights so I can actually try out crack blade. Uh, we also need to duplicate crack blade. This guy gives you a nice rapier. I'll take it. Do you mean the rapier, man? Thank you. Let's go duplicate Crackblade first. Uh, plus nine. Let's go upgrade this to plus nine. Ash of War Duplication, Crack Blade, now we have two Crack Blades, I think. And Ashes of War, or Asses of War. Let's go Flame Art. And let's go Flame Art. Oh, yes. Now we are playing with fire. Okay. Uh, do we need anything else here? Godskin's Quadling Cloth. Maybe this. For now. No hitting dragons. Let's go kill two bosses that are very, very easy to kill, guys. Let's go kill the Knight's Cavalry. Plus 25 daggers when? After the gods can do a boss fight. That's when plus 25 actually starts working very well. Rotten Wood Spirit, yes. That's what I'm going for right now. Also take Guarang's uh, grace there. Do a couple more boss fights then we'll call it for the day. Because I'm getting a bit tired. How much to pet my cat? Bro. 
I don't even know who you are or where you live. So I can't pet your cat. But I would pet your I would pet your cat for free if I could. Beastman duo, what? Where is the Beastman duo? Ah, oh, neck pain. Okay. Benjamin Glinstone Chris is gonna be used in the goddamn Mount Gelmir place. Don't worry. Patience. Just be patient. This, this shit, this run takes a long time. It's not something that we can do in a day. Kaelin needs to be fought with fire. Uh, didn't do clean out nights. Nope. Probably a good idea to actually do them right now because they can give us more runes, right? Do we have cookies? Does Toto have cookies? Yes. Does Toto have a bow? Oh, yes. Da is Toto gonna cheese the Knight's Cavalry? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, you... If you thought I'd... If, I, if you thought I was not going to cheese the Knight's Cavalry... Not even sure what kind of channel are you watching <laughs> where is the scrub over here how did I forget where this guy is actually located ah he's down there ah okay No, the Knight's Cavalry just has to be cheese because it's my favorite cheese to do. It's the main reason why I'm going to cheese it. Bam, bam. That's nine, very nice. <coughs> Alright. Grab Grace, uh, grab a flask. I can't actually wait, guys, later on during the day to actually jump into the sea. Haven't been into the sea for like a couple of weeks. That's always a good thing to do. <clears throat> I'm a little bit surprised that killing bosses doesn't actually restore your great room. That would be a good thing, but unfortunately it doesn't do it. Okay, we have the time. Knight's Cavalry is at the perfect position. Cannot jump down here. Can jump down here. There's a branch here we can land on. Perfect. A bit risky for no damage run, but I'll take it. Uh, prepare the cookeries. One cookery there. The other cookery there. Yeah, living to the living by the seas, uh, definitely a luxury. Definitely a luxury. Bye bye. A good fight, Night Cavalry. Very easy boss fight, as always. Dead. Love this cheese. Never get cold. Never going to get old. Literally never going to get old. It's called the Night Cavalry Cookery Cheese, Redneck. You can check it out in my previous video. Together. No, he just jumps into his doom. He literally just jumps into his doom when you throw the cookie there. 69 plus 35. Knight's Cavalry, where are you? That's Dragon Barrel. Nice. Oh, uh, 60 faith, also nice. And now... Let's go kill this guy. Don't need to kill anything else. Let me just do a double check here. Uh, 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 uh. Most uh, we're clearing out bosses and killing like there is nothing even happening, guys. Okay, legend, what's up? How are you today? <coughs> Let's grab the runes. The runes can never hurt. It's kind of funny going to kill it like at the late game. Like usually every one of my runs, you go to kill it immediately. It's kind of funny not going to kill it immediately, not gonna lie to you guys. It kinda is funny. 
It feels weird. It, it feels weird coming to Kaled after the mountaintops, guys. It, it doesn't feel like it's supposed to feel. <coughs> yeah, pretty much every single stream is turned into a video, yeah. Almost every stream. Pro has the best runs, thank you very much. Appreciate the kind of words. I didn't actually equip everything that I need, I think. I want to test out the damage on this guy. That's why I need to equip the Flame Shrouding Crack here. So let's go over here first. I do play the guitar, but I haven't played it in quite a while. I need to buy my Gibson Les Paul, then I'm going to play the guitar for real. Like, I don't want to buy the guitar and don't, then don't play it. I, if, I want, if I'm going to play the guitar, if I want to buy the guitar, that's my goal to myself or my rule for myself. Then I, if I buy the guitar, I need to play the guitar every day. That's what's gonna happen. Uh, Oge Legends, go watch, go read the pinned comment that I posted on the previous video. And uh, that's the answer to the question. I don't have the cat anymore, unfortunately. What I think of chess, I love it. But it's been driving me crazy lately. <coughs> Yeah, the classical finger style is behind me, but I'm more of a fan of electrical, electric guitars. Uh, those are the guitars that I mostly like to play. But I did take classical lessons. Alright, let's test this shit out, guys. Crack blade on one. Crack blade on the other one. We basically currently have... Stands breaking daggers. What's the damage? I'm gonna be able to utilize it on this tree, but the damage is pretty good, guys. That is some solid damage, guys. I kind of like it. This is a dragon battle enemy, by the way, though. This is not a pushover enemy that can be easily... That can be easily dealt with. This is a dragon battle enemy. And it's falling like leaves in the wind. Also, why am I no-hitting this guy? What is going on? Why did I no-hit one of the worst enemies to no-hit? Did you? 100k in the bag. Okay, another boss now. Bro, we are just clearing out bosses like there is no tomorrow, guys. 69 plus 36. Uh, that is the putrid avatar. The other one... Okay, there's so many bosses in this place. Let's go for a Z-keys, guys. <laughs> or should we do another boss cheese? There are so many bosses to kill in this place. <coughs> let's do two bosses for the end. Let's go a Z-keys and let's go Knight's Cavalry, okay? And let's first go back to round table. Kill that, and let's finish up everybody. What do you think of my old chubby cat? I'll send it over in the pet photos channel in the Discord, and I'll check it out. We can upgrade this to level 9. That's a lot of damage. We're not even done yet. Like, we are still missing... We are still missing... Uh, what am I missing here? I forgot what I'm missing here. I forgot which talisman. We are still missing the thorny crack tier, basically. And the buffs. We are still missing... Oh, buffs. Yeah, buffs. Total idiot. You can't cheese that fight, Scavenger, unfortunately. Okay, time to actually... It is time to actually grab buffs, guys. Let's go grab Flame Grant Me Strength. Over here. Let's go pick up Flame Grant Me Strength. That is a 20% damage boost to... Physical damage and fire damage. And we are doing both, so we're gonna get like a... Almost 30% damage increase. Cat stole the bed. <laughs> uh, the first elderly land, the first elderly land that I did took around hundred hours, I think. And we are only level one hundred actually, and we don't have the great room. <laughs> Let's go grab flame ground strength. 
beat Elden Ring for the first time. Nice. Hope you like the game. Found me a chillin' killin'. <laughs> nice. I thought for a second your name was chilling. Chillin' Krillin. Glad you enjoyed the stream, man. Wait, there is a Knight's Cavalry cheese for this one? Yo, Knight's Cavalry is just the dumbest enemy in the game, it seems. He's just walking you to his death every single time. So funny. Don't know the cheese, though, for this guy, though. But we're gonna beat him. Tip for Radagon. Uh, Radagon is a complicated boss fight. There's not really too many tips I can give you there. Just try to get good at him. Just try to figure out the attack patterns. He has he has phases in his fight that basically lets you deal off very big damage amount, very big amounts of damage to him in those phases. You can abuse that. If you're any, if you uh, here's a good tip for like Souls games in general, guys. If you're stuck on a boss fight, go watch a speed run, like a any percent glitchless speed run of the game. It's gonna help you out a lot. Bonk is not really a solution for Radagon. Not the optimal solution, I should say. Creation accent makes you manly, thank you. Witcher 3 music is so good, man. Okay, usually I avoid you in no hit runs, but today you're dying. What is that poise, bro? That is some serious poise you're getting there. They're dying. Fine. You also die. Bonk is great. Yeah, but it's not the optimal way to help somebody in the Radagon. Radagon needs to be learned. Then you can actually bonk him, like, seriously. Flame grant me strength. Let's go kill or ac like, actually let's go obliterate Azikis, guys. Azikis is gonna die immediately. I think, because he's very, very weak to fire damage. I mean, Bonk is the answer to most things. Yeah, I agree with that one. I kind of want to do a playthrough with Scythes, guys. But it's kind of hard to formulate a challenge run around those things. Azikis wakes up. Go fuck yourself, Azikis. Let me actually go and buff first. Blade is good. I want to do a playthrough with Scythes and uh, Twin Blades. But again, like, don't know what kind of... <laughs> I didn't equip... My br okay, after the three hour mark in every stream, my brain shuts off, guys. Swear to god, we are killing Zeke's and then we are calling it today, guys. I am not functioning anymore. Uh, this. I just need to get to Zeke's as fast as possible. That way we can beat him up. Buffer, Cragblade. I love how funny the daggers look with Cragblade on them. They look so stupid. <laughs> it's just like two, two sticks of stones. Literally, that's our build currently, guys. Two stone sticks. Oh, yeah. That is damage. That is damage. And that is a Zeke's as well. That is a Zeke's scattered bullshit. We're still not doing the damage that I want to do, though. Also, I forgot me now. Oh, oh my god, Zeke. Zeke is, is the... What even killed me? That is damage, but that is Zeke's. <laughs> the dragon will roll you, man. <laughs> I usually stream on Twitch, yeah. Uh, on, uh, on YouTube, excuse me. Bro, I hate these dragons, man. I hate these dragons. I would like to throw fireballs into their face, but the challenge run doesn't allow me, so... This, guy, this dragon is a little bit harder to castrate, man. If you haven't noticed yet. This dragon is not as easy. 
I wish you could stay sleeping forever, that would be helpful. The problem with dragons is like their hitbox is weak on the head, but I can't hit the head. Because I'm a dragon user. Well, that is definitely damage, guys. Bro, this is Zeke's guys is the most insanely annoying dragon ever. There's no dragon that is more annoying than Zeke's guys. What is the attack? Is that Scarlet Bullshit attack? Yes. Scarlet Bullshit Rot attack. I dodged that, insane. Dragons are annoying in this game. Fuck you. Ziki, stay still, let me trim your toenails. How did that hit me? That is garbage. Finally learned the, parry, the dodge timing there, nice. Ziki is just not the thing that you want to fight with daggers, guys. Oh, the tail is so annoying. Yeah, problem with daggers is also we can't hit the head. Which is the main damage spot. Oh, not that attack, Ezekiel. This is certain death, right? Almost. Come on, get down here. And GG. Nice. GG, Ezekiel. I said we were gonna cut it off with the Ezekiel, but I want to kill the Knight's Cavalry as well. 69 plus 37. I want to just get rid of the Knight's Cavalry because I don't want to look at them anymore. Like, for next stream, I don't want to look at Knight's, knight's Cavalries. So, the King Azikis is dead. Let's go finish up the Knight's Cavalry. Why you start with right dagger? When you hide dagger, the buff is gone. No, it isn't. I think it isn't. Wait, let me, let me check. Crackblade? Oh, you're correct. I was doing the wrong buffing order. You're actually correct, Red Deck. Thank that you pointed that out. I need to start with the left dagger first, right? Okay, let me hide. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thanks actually for pointing that out. I was completely... I completely forgot about that. You need to start with the left dagger and then buff the right dagger for the buffs to be applied on both. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. But thank you very much. Very good that you noticed that because I didn't notice that at all. So we need to do this... And then this. Okay. Left dagger, right dagger. That is the buffing roll. That is the buffing order. Nice. Uh nightfall. I never actually use like double buffs uh, on like two different weapons. So I, no wonder I didn't know about that. Or I didn't realize that I should say. The good thing about Crackblade here is guys, Crackblade gives us a lot of poise damage. Which uh, destroys the only bad part about daggers, actually. Which is not being able to do poise damage. Let's just castrate the Knight's Cavalry over here first. Knight's Cavalry, you're in a, for a bad time. It's buff. Left dagger. Right dagger. And let's go. Let's go. That is serious damage. Oh my god, this damage. That's a lot of it. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that's, that's way too much. <laughs> oh, he's dead. <laughs> okay, if that wasn't castration, I don't know what it is. Well, I think that's going to be enough for one day, boys. I think that's going to be mostly enough for one day, boys. We cleared out basically everything that we wanted for today. We started Kaled, which is the main thing that I wanted to start. After Kaled, the build is gonna be almost done. Let me just mark the Knight's Cavalry. That's both Knight's Cavalry is down. And he got deleted, yeah. I'm actually super tired, guys. I have to actually go somewhere. So, I hope you enjoyed the stream. Uh, go watch the previous video if you haven't. Uh, this stream is gonna be left all live on the channel. So, if you ever want to watch it again, you can always do so. Other than that, definitely do a workout, guys. Don't ever, don't ever forget that. Otherwise, have a nice morning, evening, afternoon. And I'll see you guys on Monday with probably this run again. And the randomizer run for Elden Ring as well. Let's do. So, yeah. Bye, guys.
Bye, guys.